Crudo. Okay. <clears throat> New Guilty Gear looks good. Oh, let's go! Okay, that's Bruno. Can I actually track it properly? Alright. Okay. That unlocks it. So now we're doing adventure mode. All right, guys. We get to actually do it now. Cool. Uh, the 3DS remakes look better graphically. Hmm. I didn't know there were 3DS remakes. Cool. So I'm waiting for the, it to end in two, because we're trying to unlock Luigi. And the way that you unlock Luigi is a little cutscene plays where Luigi steps on Mario's head, and uh, if you beat if you beat it, I think with no continues, and then beat Luigi, you unlock him. No, don't grab the star. Oh my gosh. Yep, Captain Falcon is the ru the fastest running speed. We've got to run, boys. Frig, yeah. I just did a practice route today. Had to slightly change some stuff over the route, but... It does work? Cool. I'm glad to hear that. Like, that's awesome. Get over here. <clears throat> Double KO. Not me being on the screen and thinking someone subbed again. Oh, right? Yeah! Because <laughs> the actual melee sounds. <laughs> Nair is strong, right? It's really good for, like, the lower difficulties in this game. Luigi unlock criteria is the most cryptic requirement in the game. Super well hidden, but in an annoying way. Oh, I completely agree, dude. It seems really like, how would you ever figure that out, you know? It's like this, I feel like it's the very last place I I would have gone. Oh, it's the start. Dang it! Thank you so much for the follow, whoever that was. I'll check it out in a second. Nope. Thanks for the follow, also. Wow, it's the very last place that I checked. Dude, Space Chicken! Thanks for the resub. Holy cow! And Jonathan and Rogue Place. Thanks for the follows. That's Yeeing eight months from Space with Chicken. Knees of justice. Yeah, knees of justice. I wasn't pressing start because I was so mesmerized by getting this. Whenever you speedrun melee, you get confused. Oh, dude. Yeah, I totally get that, Annie. Yeah, because you've been hearing them for one way for so long. <laughs> Space Chicken, how's it going, dude? How's your morning? Also, funny thing about Stone Tower 100% was submitted a run for the category. Wow, but it exists. You should totally do it. What do you mean by world record for all here's in 20 hours? Hey, Salty, yeah. You can actually do VS matches instead, which is actually faster than 20 hours. And on that, there's a trick where you don't actually have to do um, 20 hours of VS matches. You can do five hours of VS, four hours of VS matches if you plug in four controllers and do faster melee. Not faster melee, ha! <laughs> um, lightning melee. Every time Space Chicken subs, a melee player gets his dubs. <laughs> Donnie! <laughs> The thing that every kid thought they could speedrun when they were a kid. This section of the game. Complete. 
I used my Wii too, but I finally got the GameCube again. Let's go. Oh, the Game Boy Player. Dude, I love the Game Boy Player. You got an HDMI out? That's so cool, Scooter. Congrats. That's some good stuff. Hey, V Lurk. Am I saying your name right? Thanks so much for being here. How are you? <clears throat> looks more. It's more like. Looks more. Look, it's Rumble Falls, but Metroid style. Every time it's facing in subs, an ultimate player gets a new anime sword fighter. No! Don't like that. Okay, I killed that Curry with a jab. I want to point that out. Oh my gosh. That was bad. It rhymes with clerk. Okay, vlerk. Gotcha. Gotcha. Faster fighter. Hello, Insanasan. How's it going? Imagine. Good to have you here in the chat. C jerk. Really good, Annie. I'm having a good morning. I'm excited to do this run. I've been kind of preparing for it a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. It's an absurd run. Like, I, I do not recommend most people do it, but when you love Melee like me, just like as a game, you'll do it. And you'll see in a bit why I don't recommend this uh, run to anybody. <laughs> the hitbox is right. Kirby be a strong boy. Plus, I got S video. Oh, cool. Uh, S video is ni much nicer than composite. The same company works for SNES N64 and for GameCube for 20 bucks. Let's go. Good find, Scooter. Good job. The Knee of Justice. Also, think of doing the practice routing I spent. half an hour trying to do to do a hover in a small area you got a great ferry earlier thankfully there's a much faster way to do that that does not require hovers that's nice that is very thankful i know some of those speed running tricks can be really tough sometimes for i mean someone that doesn't usually speed run right so my man's fox just got jv5 Dude, that was basically leffen right <laughs> i used to play this game against can, like only read parts and messages. Used to play this game against my brothers when I was younger. Nice swag. Dude, this is a good game. This video does show quite a difference when compared to composite. It does. It's surprising. It's very surprising. Because you have dedicated like stuff for your video instead of it being shared with the same cable as your audio. Oh, I was when that would hit. Still ain't lawful. <laughs> now I just got to the rest of my GameCube games from my dad, including Melee. Oh, yeah, you you have to, Scooter. I can't sweep off the knee for some reason. There we go. Da David just did the Captain Falcon when Nintendo did the F Zero. <laughs> so here's the thing: I don't, I know how to hover, but I don't know how to turn Link around consistently. I see what you mean. Can you just go through the railing? That's possible. You mean Nest? Did you, are you asking if Nest did? Dude, I, can you guys believe the last game that came out for F Zero was was it 2002 or 2003 that GX came out? It's amazing that it. Oh, look at the Birdo Trophy, guys! Look! I could have skipped the whole... I could have skipped the whole RNG component in the beginning. <laughs> Man, I could have saved 12 seconds for my run. What a shame. I mean, in reality, I'd be saving more, like, time, because I wouldn't have to be dealing with the RNG components, but... <clears throat> 
People say they don't want a new F Zero game because they don't don't enjoy F Zero. You know what I call them? Weak. Dude, good good name for it. I can hear like the the audio distorting sometimes from the. From the device. I wonder if there's a way to like dampen the noise somehow. Hey, Esther, welcome. Good morning. How are you? Eternal Darkness, Eternal Requiem. Is that one of the new games that got announced, or is that my thinking of something else? Hey, look, it's S tier Esther. Hmm, that's a good name. I like that. Yeah, I don't say swear word space. <laughs> you tell him, Donnie. I love wireframes. I think they're so cool. Good morning, Essie. Good morning. Yeah, I woke up naturally at like 7.30. I think I was really excited about this. Really excited about this run. Oh, Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. Okay. Okay, that's... Adventure. Oh, well, you know what? I don't know if I should have split that because that's not when I unlock Luigi. I should probably unsplit that. Does that work? I think that worked. Okay. That's nice of you to say, Scooter. I'm so totally famous is here. Donnie! <laughs> All right, guys, it's Luigi. Ready? Go. Dang it, he falls too slowly. Okay, that's when I make the split. Okay, so now, if you do something very important, I have to go to um, custom rules, set the time to stock, do random stage, then go to special melee, Go to stamina mode. And I gotta pick one of each character. And I'm gonna end on Captain Falcon. We're gonna let Donkey Kong get all the wins. So this is where the self-death begins, although it won't continue for too much longer before it gets broken up again. But the reason why I pick stamina and the reason why I pick random stage is because <clears throat> there's no victory screen on stamina. And if I pick random, there's no stage selection screen. So it skips the stage selection screen. Um, I can skip the result screen, and it's the fastest way to get matches counted. So what I'm doing here first is I'm doing a match with every single over the original roster to then unlock Marth. I believe I'm unlocking Marth. <clears throat> I will then unlock Roy, and then I will unlock Jigglypuff, I think is how the order goes. So yeah, I'm unlocking Marth right now. There's no, yeah, exactly, there's no victory screen. <clears throat> not on stamina mode, there's not. So that's why you do it. Once you get the speedrun file set up, I think you'll be surprised at the start of the route. Really? I wonder what that means. Oh, I picked Captain Falcon by accident. Oh, well. I wasn't thinking. I'll pick someone I can beat Marth with, I guess. I don't know who that would be. I guess I could just pick Sheik again. Okay, did it before. The strats, yep. Every little bit counts because when you're doing 700 of these, you need to find the fastest way possible to get through it. <laughs> You're playing on Wii. How is it showing your button commands? Um, I'm using a special, um, like, USB plug-in thing. I don't really know what to call it. Like an input displayer that Triptech made for me. And I bought a couple from him. So that's how it's doing input display. I got a special thing configured and connected. So this is the only way I could ever beat David. <laughs> if I'm speedrunning the game against you? Yeah. I suppose that's true. Funny way to think about it. I like it. So I'm going to do this with every character except for Luigi and Zelda. Because I will pick Zelda on an actual VS match to actually unlock our friend, Mark. And then I will unlock Roy by going through Adventure... Or no, uh, Classic Mode. Yes, Classic Mode. I now want to see space in a montage. A training montage like Rocky, but with melee speedruns. <laughs> da da da. 
All right, so now I'll go to standard melee. And I'll pick Sheik. We're going to have the Donkey Kong victory screen because we have to. So this is the one victory screen that we'll see for this section. We'll probably see seven more victory screens, I want to say. Maybe eight more victory screens. So there's Marth. So I'll make sure and hit the split as soon as I defeat Marth here. Assuming I do. Man, it sucks when sometimes you don't. Oh, what? It really sucks when you don't beat them. It depends on the situation, but it can be it can be worse, but... So that'll do it. Okay. So now I'll do classic mode as Marth to unlock Roy. Because I think for Roy you need like 700 matches. Or no, 900 matches or something. Classic. So this is the fastest way to do that. <laughs> Silly with the insane on DK. Then the final fight is V versus David. <clears throat> Where I win in under two seconds because David SDs. <laughs> That's the final fight. 20 hours or 700 matches. Again, Mario Docs is more like four hours. You can get the Mewtwo unlocked really easily in just four hours instead of 20. Rip Marth. When do I fight Master Cheems? Uh, difficult to say. I'll do this later when I do, when I do a target test, because I'll need to beat all the target tests at some point, but I don't do it this early in the run. It's better to get them done in a row than to do it here. The gold splits? Yeah. I, I did an attempt last night. Um... So I'm actually racing against my time last night. <laughs> so that's kind of a fun, it's kind of a fun benchmark to go against. So hopefully I do better than I did last night. And I wasn't like trying to be like crazy last night. I was just trying to do like a basic run. So we'll see if I, how much better I do. Fast speed, special melee. Yep, exactly. Bonus stage. That sounds like a name of a, a YouTube series I just started that you should check me out on youtube.com slash David V. Kimball and subscribe for more cool content called Bonus Stage and other content. Gosh dang it, Carrie. Is that CG? How's it going, my friend? Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Happy Pokemon Day. It's Pokemon Day? I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yep, you also have, this is my other YouTube channel for VODs, but <laughs> I have an actual YouTube channel too. Another news, my Pichu training is, or your Pichu training is going well. Um, when I played this Peach on Unranked and I just couldn't manage to beat her, I evolved into Pikachu and whooped her. Oh, that's nice, Donnie. I'm glad to hear that. That DK didn't stand a chance, poor guy. Man, every time David SDs is Marth, I think it's Esther. Un it's uncanny. Wow. That is mean. That is mean, Space Chicken. Thanks for doing the YouTube command there, Essie. Appreciate that. But also, if you want to check out my VODs, they're there too. So any broadcast you missed or stream. Dang it. It's too late. Too early. Oh, I didn't. I haven't unlocked Roy yet, so I'll, I'll only hit the split one after I unlock Roy. I think that'll be my rule. I'll do the split after that. <laughs> I just woke up, space. I don't have the energy for this. Oh, you're good, Scooter. You're good. Mecha DK. Hey, Zero. How's it going? Good to see ya. All right, so we're gonna try to unlock our friend Roy. Does this uh, credit sequence look familiar to anybody? It should if you stuck around to the end of my streams ever. Oh, did you guys see, by the way? Somebody got a perfect score on the credits recently. Like, they hit every single credit. I think it's 130-something. Hey, Cyber, welcome! Good to see ya. Yeah, we're about to unlock Roy. I know. Very exciting. 
So after Roy, we'll start 50 VS matches in a row, which will be more like 30. Oh, no. I just realized my the, the number tracking thing is wrong. I've got to update it. Okay, so I've got to hit this a bunch of times. Uh, oh crap! Oh man, I'm I'm, I'm messing up a bit here. I think 14 is the number it needs to be at. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to VS match. We're gonna go to special and then stamina. And then we're gonna pick Captain Falcon. And we're gonna do 50 matches. Now the number. The number should be reflecting the active number of matches we have. Um, there's a number just to my right that says current count 15. And um, that should be accurately reflecting the number of matches I have. And when that gets to 49, I'm going to do a standard match and then unlock Jigglypuff. So, she said breakfast, nice, zero. Have some spicy chicken rolls with ranch. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Can you get a perfect score on the credits? Yes, Link. It was possible. Somebody did it. They did it. They did not unlock Toad, sadly. Uh, contrary to popular belief, you cannot unlock Toad that way. <laughs> Roy's our boy. Christy knows. It's very difficult. Yeah. Did you watch that Mario Docs? I thought it was amazing that he pulled it off. Um, and again, just for anybody that's new, the reason I'm doing stamina mode, special melee, and I'm doing random stage is because it's the fastest way to get as many games as you can. I'm picking Captain Falcon because he has the fastest running speed. And because I'm doing a random stage every time, there's no real say in like, you know, what stage I'm picking. If if I could do this with like Falco or something, he falls the heaviest. So I might pick like maybe Fox or Falco. And then I would go to Mushroom Kingdom 2. But because you, you can't do random stage select without unlocking it, that's after you unlock all the characters and stages. Um... I have to settle for absolutely random stages. The challenger approaching scared you as a kid. I can see why. I can see why. Yes, I'm sorry, Space Chicken. And also, hate to dash, dash your dreams further. You can't unlock Sonic. <laughs> Toad and Sonic remain elusive as always. I completely agree, dude. Zero. There, there's still the stuff of legends. There's still the stuff of legends. When's David and Smash Bros. Melee game on the GameCube? Hopefully never. Hopefully never, Mario Docs. Hey, to dash your dreams further. Good one. Good one. I like that. That was a good, that was a good, uh, speed pun. Okay. So we're almost at 30 matches. And so again, when I hit 49, we'll be, uh, unlocking Jigglypuff. And then one of the scarier parts in the run. And what I mean by that is, like... It's 15 minute melee, so if I get seven minutes in and I die or something like that, I'm losing seven minutes because it, I literally it literally is 15 minutes. It's it's brutal. So you try to get that done as an early as in the run as possible. So. In fact, I think if I were to redo this, I might reorder it so that 15 minute melee and 50 VS matches is just after Marth. I don't unlock Roy right away. I do Roy after the 15-minute one. That's probably what I'll do. Captain Falcon dying of going to... Oh, it's going to be my new text tone? Awesome. <laughs> one day, somebody will place David over Falcon, voice and all. Oh, boy. You joke, but people have tried that already. There's no random stage select... No, there's not Mario Docs. Not, not until you've unlocked all the stages. There is eventually, but right now there's not, unfortunately. It would be so nice if there was. Because I would just do Mushroom Kingdom 2, because you can just die like, almost immediately. David. Hey, Esther. Do you want CFA? What is CFA? I don't know what that is. Esther's phone. No! What is that space? What? What? I do like this death speedrun. You guys, you guys enjoy hearing the sound of Captain Falcon dying? Oh, Chick-fil-A. Okay. Then yes. Chick-fil-A sounds amazing right now. I agree. All right, so eight left. It sounds amazing. I didn't realize that CFA was the hip way that everyone was abbreviating Chick-fil-A. Ready? 
Everyone seems to be a fan of Chick-fil-A in chat here. Okay, I paused. That's not very epic. If you if you mash start too early, that's what happens. We don't have time to type out Chick-fil-A when there are nuggies on the line, David. <laughs> Mario Talks, what? What a URL. I don't know. I don't know how that's a URL. And also, I don't know how you're not getting timed out for it either. That's hilarious. I feel like there might be a difference between what Twitch considers a link and what the Stream Elements bot considers a link, too. That's my guess. By the way, fun fact. You might be wondering, how is the live count updating automatically? Well, I'm using something called Auto Split, which identifies the word game being appearing. And it, uh... And then it counts automatically. All right, there it is. So that's 49. So for our 50th match, we're going to go to standard melee. Pick Falcon. And then we'll unlock Jigglypuff. Hello, Matt. How's it going? Yep, Saturday stream for me. It's good to see you, Matthew. How's your Saturday going? Are you in uh, back in Washington yet? Or are you still in Idaho? All right, so that's what we expected. That's good news. That means my count's probably accurate. I hope. Okay, that's Jigglypuff. So now we do one of the scarier parts of the run, which is the 50 minute melee section. Oh baby, here goes nothing. This part's kind of scary, but we're gonna do our best. The hardest part of Stone Tower 100% would be the stray fairies. Gotcha. So the, the, the hint, the key here is, okay, this is not a good start. I have a lot of damage for this early in the run. Mm, I might restart. I'm just going to restart because I don't want that much damage that early. 15 minutes is a lot longer of a time than you think. So the key here is... Kill all the male wireframes and keep the female wireframes. Because the female wireframes are easier to, to fight. Thank you so much for the resub. I can't really check who that is, but thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To Carl Dacious. Oh my gosh. 29 months. Dude, Carl, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. Um, Carl, thank you for the resub, dude. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, and I can't, I don't even know how many months that would be. 20, is that 29 months? Wow, that's insane. So I'm, I just entered the 50 minute melee part of the run. And this part's a little scary just because, you know, if you mess up, you lose, you potentially lose tons of time. I didn't mean, mean to kill the female wireframe, but sometimes they're just, they're in the way. So they're collateral damage. All right, so right now we have four female wireframes. This is pretty ideal, actually. If I can keep them alive and they don't die on me or pick up an item and blow up or something. Or pick up that stupid capsule. See, see them kind of hopping away and they're, they're being like more aggressive than usual. So if I do like a little gentle jab, they should hopefully keep them at bay, keep them away from me. They're being like way more aggressive than they usually are. Usually they kind of keep to themselves, but they're like approaching me a lot in this run for some reason. Please don't pick that up. Basically, when items fall and they pick them up, it's usually bad news. Because it means they don't do the same predictable stuff that you're relying on them to do. So, and sorry, by the way, guys, if I'm not really reading chat right now. 
I just want to be really focused. Cause they, see that Bavam there? So that's a huge problem. And it can fall and even blow you up and stuff. Yeah, that was not great. Yeah, see, that's what I want to avoid. And random items and RNG can, like, ruin, ruin a run really easily. Yeah, she keeps getting in the way. That female wireframe. Kind of a problem child. Okay, that was fine. Now stay away from me. Okay, well, another male one appeared. Okay. 20 isn't too bad. It's not where I'd like to be at this early, but I'll take it. You just hope they leave you alone, but that doesn't always happen. And the biggest problem is random spawning items. I promise you guys, once um once the grinding starts, which is literally the next section, I'll be able to catch up on everything on chat that I miss. But I absolutely have to kind of do my best to focus here. See, this is kind of what I want. I want them to stay close enough to me to kind of approach me and then walk away. That's kind of the best combination. And if they're on that rotation, I'm in, in, in a good spot. If they get much closer and they keep doing that, then eh. It's not, my, it's not the best, but it's still better than having male wireframes. Alright, so about a third way through. I've got 20%. In retrospect, I'm really glad that I restarted. Focus on wireframes. We can live. Can you? Thank you for the 25 bits, Essie. I've got to become focus boy here. So annoying. Don't go that way. Man, I did not want to do that. Basically, you want to get rid of every item you can. I know they're camping. And sometimes I get lucky in a rotation where only four of them spawn. That's actually lucky, but usually it doesn't last because one of them blows themselves up or something's dumb. There was one unfortunate time I was practicing this and I held a shield for too long. I just died because the shield broke as Puff. That was very sad. Fun fact, the reason I think why Zelda has legs is because female wireframe... Oh boy, there's a bob on there. That is not great. Okay, that was a miracle that it didn't hit any of them and it didn't hit me. Wow, that never happens. That was crazy. Somebody should totally clip that. That was wild. Take up the Pokeball. Don't do it. 
pretty sure they only pick up items when they mean to jab and there happens to be an item there. Oh, good heavens. Are you kidding me? This is not ideal. At all. Okay, it could have been worse, I guess. Still wasn't my favorite. Could have been worse. Dang it. Leave me alone. Well, I didn't really want to kill her, but okay. Get in the way again, female wireframe. I'm sorry. I gotta take out those males. Not another ba bomb. Please don't fall on me. Oh boy. They are totally gonna die. Okay, that was another miracle. What the heck? What the actual heck? I mean, I see so many people in the chat that I want to read their chat, but I can't. It's too scary. I, oh yeah, shells are also bad news. If there's a red shell on the bottom, oof. That's a big oof. You guys are realizing just how long a 15 minute melee match is now? And if I die now, that's another 15 minutes I gotta wait. That's the scariest part. Stupid Mr. Saturn, get out of here. Pretty ideal. Hopefully they'll keep doing this. Oh well. Spoke too soon. Getting close, gamers. Yeah, sometimes they'll get randomly aggressive with items, and it's completely like. There's no rhyme or reason to it. not pick up that item whatever you do just keep hopping and chilling on the left all right good thing Jilly Puff's not tall that's all I can say You should probably restart just to be safe, David. Uh, 
Uh-huh, thanks. I'll totally do that space. Just to be safe, I should restart, yeah. I have 50, I have too much percentage. I should just restart. <clears throat> oh my gosh, do not get that close to me on that side of me, please. Pray to RNG that there's no more bombs. We had left so many. I wonder how, like how many bombs show up on average per any 50 minute melee period. I feel like female wireframes are um, promoting unhealthy and unrealistic standards for women. That could have been bad, boys. That could have been real bad. All right, guys, we're down to the last minute. If I die here, that'll be quite tragic, but hopefully not. Hopefully I'll do okay. Hopefully I can just grind this out and be okay. Yes! We did it! Congo Jungle's unlocked! We did it! We did it! Okay. VS mode, special melee, stamina. Alright, so now this is where the real grind comes in. Okay! Holy snap! Let's catch up on chat while I'm doing these grinds. And, uh, hopefully... Um, this is keeping track of things automatically is it it is okay so hopefully when this number of 50 that's currently 52 ends up being 900 692 then we can move on to the next area so this is gonna be very grindy for a bit but it takes about an hour and a half so we guys are ready to chat for an hour and a half as i am i'm gonna scroll up and see what i missed here the most intense part of the stream probably one of the most intense ones yeah my girlfriend is a college resident Assistant has to go to a whole other building to let someone in their own room. Goodness. There's when Carl came in. I'm proud of holding the stick to the left. Indeed. You think the level one DK thinks he's really good at the game? Yeah. Yeah, that, that DK is definitely a master at holding the stick to the left, without a doubt. DK wins by doing absolutely nothing. Let's go, Dab. I'm out, but I want to say hi. Matt, thank you. I know you're probably long gone by now, but thanks for the Dab emote. And for saying hi, and for the resub, dude. Dang it. Meant to do that. All right, um, let's see. Also, the hardest part of Storm Town 100% would be the Stray Fairies. You already read that. So I'm, I'm basically going to catch up now. Um, TTS blew it. Dang. Sorry that TTS Joey let you down there. Freaking Joey, man. When's he going to learn? What's going on right now, man, Jazz? Well, I have to beat 50-minute melee to, uh, to unlock Congo Jungle. So that is what I was doing. Women, am I right? So unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Carl, I can give you a proper hello and welcome. Thank you for that resub, dude. 20 nights is crazy. Thanks for the melee uh, cheer there too. Uh, Carl, hopefully your Saturday morning is going well. I know you're in a different part of the, the country than me, but 
I figure it's still the morning for you. Maybe it's not anymore. It's probably the afternoon now. Wow, these women wireframes are the equivalent to mom telling you to pause. No, they're not. They're actually the most merciful ones. Uh, man, Jazz, I just answered your question, hopefully. I'm going to be sorry, Dave. Your speedrunning game comes first. I'm writing a fanfic about the wireframes. Please send that to me when you're done, Esther. I definitely want to read it. This wireframe is true zero suit Sam has changed my mind. Well, unfortunately, she has a moveset based on Zelda, but other than that, I think you have to make a pretty compelling argument. Focus on wireframes. We can live. Can you? Hello, Insane Asylum. Wireframes are Street Fighter players who are trying to understand what a platform is. <laughs> They're like experimenting with the platforms. Ooh. Survive the 15 minute melee to unlock Congo Jungle 64. That's right. Man Jazz figured it out. Well, I was busy not replying and completely ignoring him. Um, <clears throat> female's Terabad. The male is kind of good. Yep. Dang, man, didn't realize Zelda needed a reason to have legs. Well, because, you know, some characters that have dresses, they just don't model the legs. Like, I'm pretty sure Peach doesn't have legs. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, dude. It's all about patience. Exactly, Prod. It was it was a total patience play there. David, you can't just ask why people... <laughs> why they have... Ask people why they have legs. Esther, probably. I mean, would she be wrong, though? Even if she were to say that? Someone's making VR, melee in VR. I saw that Mario Docs. I've actually been in talks with that person. Yes, exactly what Esther said. David knows everybody. <laughs> well, anybody related to melee, I try to like at least tweet one time. If that's what you mean by no. What I'm concerned about is completely 100% crystal melee. Wait, what? Oh, meaning you want that? You want a 100% crystal melee across the board, stages, characters, etc. Because that would look really cool. I agree. Leave me alone. Esther, has David ever called you female wireframe? That sounds like a really good nickname I should probably give Esther at some point. I now understand his text tone. Thanks for the thanks for the clip, Carl. I appreciate it, dude. Six player crystal melee VR, but per pixel lighting. Ooh, that sounds nice. I know just five minutes that was so intense. Managed to do it. There should be a serious a serious time bot that shuts chat up for a duration and posts a bunch of command explanations. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, usually, I should have just a command ready, and then a mod can probably do it. I think that would be the best option for that man, Jazz. So this is how we're going to be spending Pokemon Day? Yeah, I mean, that's how I'm spending it. Hey, Isaac. Hey, sorry, I just now saw your chat. Sorry about that. Do you think Slippy is the best, the biggest thing to have in the melee? Good question. What do you think about melee's future in general? Um, I definitely think that Slippy helped usher in a new era of people that don't have access to CRTs and, like, consoles and stuff, but can buy the game and play on emulation. Um, I think that is a really big deal. I don't know if it's the biggest thing to happen to Melee. Um, I think some of the bigger tournament stuff in, like, 20... 20... Like, the early 2010s probably were the biggest thing to happen to Melee. The documentary was one of the biggest things to happen to Melee. But yeah, I think Slippy definitely is one of them, if not the biggest. Uh, Isaac, welcome. Good to have you again. Um, yeah, what do you think? I'm curious what you think. <laughs> AI bad. I think Diet Melee is tied with Slippy. Smash 4 Wii U was the second greatest thing because the prominence of... Yeah, again, that's very emulator PC focused. I think there's a big... There's something to be said for the console days, too. Um, third because of the Diet Melee Slippy tie. I don't know that Diet Melee... Diet Melee is pretty amazing, but I don't know that it's as crazy as Slippy. I don't think that's a tie. The biggest thing to happen to Melee for Melee after Slippy is Blippy.gg. Oh, stop it, Carl. <laughs> Carl knows what's up. Thank you, Esther. How do female wireframes brush their ponytails? With their wireframe brushes, obviously. Dad with the gold splits. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm comparing this against my stuff from last night. Although... Looks like I'm getting some silver splits. Or silver, what the heck. Some green ones. Does yellow mean I'm doing better? And green mean I'm doing worse? What do they mean? Oh, I see. It took 23 seconds longer than the previous one. Whatever that means. Women are never this transparent. Ha <laughs> Space! Oh my goodness! I'm upset there's no Apache attack helicopter wireframes. <laughs> you and Tony Hawk Pro Skater's helicopter shake my head. I know that's... 
not, not including everyone, you know what I'm saying? I like to play girls just want to have fun. JJ, thanks for the uh, dope input display. I appreciate that. I'm using open joystick display, which is actually discontinued, but I'm using a hardware peripheral to track that. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. LFG, yeah. Thanks for the hype, SC. Thanks, Fraud, for the hype. New record. Stamina skips the results screen. Yeah, it does. Just change the random stages. To, I, I wish. No, I wouldn't do Yoshi's Story. I would do Mushroom Kingdom 2, but that's not an option until you've unlocked all the stages, man, Jazz. Otherwise, I would do it. Yeah, exactly what Link said. Good morning, Hedgehog. Good to see you in chat. Welcome, welcome. Random stage select is available when all stages are unlocked. Exactly. I mean, Nintendo hates us. Gecko codes for life. <laughs> man, Jazz, it's so obvious you're part of the newer group. Um, Like, you're part of the newer Melee era because the fact that you don't know that cracks me up. I just... uh. Because back in my day, we had to unlock everything ourselves. <laughs> let, let me sit you down, Sonny, and tell you how it used to be back in my day when I was your age. Hey, TMT fan, welcome. It's afternoon, and it's dope, David and Melee. It's a great daily. Using a stamina to skip the results screen. Save just under an hour and 15 minutes. Does it really? That Oh, that's crazy. How do you know that, Fraud? Is that based on doing the like doing the math? Like, can you just do the math? Pokemon Nuzlocke, dude. Actually, that's the current goal is to play more Pokemon Crystal Clear. It's not quite a Nuzlocke, but I, I do play Pokemon Crystal Clear, and I haven't played those in a while. And that's the latest sub goal is to bring those back. Someone needs to leak the melee source code. That would be fantastic. Hey, Epitome, welcome. Good morning to you. I want melee beta. That would be sick. Is there a category for unlocking everything except for Mewtwo? Um, even if there was, it wouldn't change the run very much. And also, you can't unlock everything except for Mewtwo because you need every character to unlock All-Star Mode. And you need every character to unlock all the 51 event matches to unlock Final Destination. So you can't... I mean, I mean maybe there is for characters only, but... But I, that hasn't been made yet, but I'm sure there could be. Slippy top three? Yeah, Sad Dog. I think you're probably right about that. Slippy is definitely top three. What do you think about Melee's future? Um, I think it's going to continue to grow because I think as it becomes more accessible, people will find out how great it is and they won't be satisfied with other fighting games anymore, <laughs> especially Ultimate, and they'll prefer Melee. So, Melee the next generation. Whoa, that was weird. Was I just walking? I'll see if I can share a clip later, because I'm not sure how you're supposed to know it's there. By the way, can I just say these initial 114 uh, matches have kind of flown by? We still have roughly an hour and 15 minutes more to do of this, but hey, I'm loving talking to you guys. This has been this is awesome. The biggest thing to happen pre -mele pr to Melee was pre-1990 was Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. What am I doing right now? I'm doing a speed run to me, so I'm I'm racking up uh, VS matches. I'm get I'm, the number currently that's 118. That number needs to reach 692. And once I do that, I can unlock like five characters in a row, and then I can move on to the the, the future things you're seeing on the on the top left there, where it says um, final eight VS matches. I'm actually unlocking like I think like six characters or something like that. So weird to see Yoshi's Island blocks aren't full 3D at first, right? It is a little odd. I think Diet Melee should be integrated into Slippy to make better gameplay experience possible for every player. I wonder how they could do that. That would be really cool. Everyone's played Yoshi's Story, but has everyone listened to Yoshi's Story? Or seen the pictures? Or had a librarian read it to you? Um, I love Yoshi's Story. I thought that game's awesome. I want to play through it again soon. Now, that's the thing. I knew about the item switch in 64 because I used to do that too. Well, there you go. Well, I'm teasing you, man, Jazz. But it does reflect, I think, a, a trend I'm seeing where people just don't know that. You did the math, Rod? Awesome. Thanks for doing that. I'm not like the other girls. I never played Yoshi's Story. Got him. Man, it's like a one good thing and a bad thing. On one hand, you're not like the other girls. But on the other hand, you haven't ever read Yoshi's Story. Kind of sad. Is it true that Nintendo gave up C&D Melee-related stuff because of the free Melee movement? I don't... I mean, nobody knows that. I mean, somebody knows that, but... I don't think that to a capacity that anybody could publicly disclose. 
Each result is seven seconds. Okay, there you go. You just increased it. So we're saving an hour and a half by cutting off the result screen. Crystal clear. Crystal clear is very, very good. Again, Fraud, thanks for doing that. Thanks for doing that calculation. That's really insightful to know. Is it possible to unlock Mewtwo first without unlocking anything else? It is. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Like I said, you just um, plug in four controllers in your GameCube or Wii. First thing, you, um... You're, oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying start start the save with with Mewtwo and then go from there. That That is possible, yeah. You can um, do one VS match that's with four controllers plugged in and and um, lightning melee and leave the game on for five hours. Oh, no, four hours. And uh, yeah, and then you'll only have Mewtwo unlocked. So you're, you're right. You're saying, is there a speedrun category where you start off with Mewtwo unlocked and then you just unlock everything else? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I didn't get it at first, but now I do. So yeah, we should try that. That'd be cool. CPU level 1 DK has similar play style to me, but much better record. Wow. That's kind of a harsh reality space. He does 50 matches before this point, which ties in the 700 from U2. Yep, exactly what Essie said. Now what I'm saying is, is it possible to create a legit save file with only Mewtwo? It is. Yeah, it is. Yep. Now what I'm saying, I read that. Do you think that FOD is the most beautiful stage in Melee? I do, Isaac, I do. I'm definitely on that train. Well, how do you feel about it? There's a lot of beautiful stages in Melee. And I have to say, looking at it on a computer CRT is just... Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, uh, to answer Man what Mando says, yes, it is possible to just have Mewtwo unlock on a legit save file and nothing else. That is true. You, you, it would have one VS match. Um, you'd have one VS match, technically. So to unlock Marth, would be one match fewer. But you technically could. Do you mean Captain Falcon? I do not mean Captain Falcon, but he's the fastest character. So he's the fastest to, to die with. 4K FOD reflections win. <laughs> Actually, there's a code, um, a gecko code for melee that um because right now it like really makes the risk reflections low res so you can increase the resolution and it looks really cool it looks a little almost like uncanny i'd say how like reflective it is wow i waste a lot of time there i love the animation in the background right i love the the water and the, the sparklies and the all that stuff i'm glad you agree isaac how much was your computer crt good question space um it was free <laughs> because it was a my dad basically had some CRTs for work, some computer CRTs at his office, and then when he when he upgraded um, his employees to smaller t screens, he moved his computer CRT to the attic, and he has a little attic computer that he just uses occasionally. And I saw that eventually. I said, "Can I please have that?" And so we went to Goodwill and swapped it out with another cheap screen, and I got this one. So I think they go for quite a bit online. I think I've looked them up and. They're pretty expensive from what I've seen now. And the way that I do it is I use a Wii, I use component out, and then I use a component to VGA converter, which is lagless, amazingly. And um, that's what I use to play. You can also do a VGA out cable with a Wii, but that's, those cables are harder to come by now. They used to be a lot easier, and then mine kind of crapped out on me. So I'm opting for this as a better option. 15 minute melee split should have the female wireframe stock. Uh, so funnily enough, um, I think the the female wireframe stock is just the, the the icon that I'm using. Actually, it's the little smash icon. So I think I literally am doing that. I don't think the, the wireframes have their special stock icon. Actually, do you sometimes do Slippy unranked? I do. Isaac, actually, every Monday I do what what's called Melee Mondays. And I play with viewers and I do unranked. I also Isaac. So, um, so yeah, if you want to play on Monday or just see like some actual matches, we'll do that on. We also play in the Discord. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Esther, for that link. Tons of people play in our Discord. So if you want to play with people that aren't toxic, you can go there. <laughs> Why is your dad so cool? Um, I ask myself that very frequently. He's very, very cool. I really like... I love my dad. He's great. No, they don't. But maybe making one would be funny. I... Yeah. You mean like a custom female... Uh, wireframe stock just for that. I like that. I like that Mario Docs. I might actually put a little more effort into the icons and make them a bit more um, descriptive of what I'm doing. Did you finish the HD character selection screen? I get asked that question very frequently. No, I have not finished it yet. 
but I plan on finishing it soon. And it's a team of a team and me, including Radzo, who's a frequenter in the in the chat actually on the stream. Um, Radzo's been doing some awesome work with that. Melee is the big fun. Melee is huge fun. Melee is incredibly fun. Yeah, but hey, I'm I'm working on it. Radzo and I are, are working on it ever so slightly, but I promise it'll get done. It's just on my huge list of items to do that I artificially keep adding things to. <laughs> this is nice to not really have to like focus too much because before on my first one, I actually had to hit a key every time I did a match and sometimes like I would miss one or I'd do one extra or whatever and I would get the timing off. So being automated is a freaking lifesaver. The HD character selection screen needs to maintain Roy's blacked out name. Have you seen the concept, Man Jazz? I already have that. It's already part of it. Game. Stamina! Oh, stamina! <laughs> do you plan to do the character HD textures? Um, maybe that's not a priority for me, because um, I don't care as much about in-game HD stuff. It's just the menu. Because when you get to HD, it starts hindering performance, potentially. And I don't see that being helpful to as many users as just like for menus and stuff. Wireframe for costumes? I think that's already possible in some of Uncle Punch's builds. You can play as the wireframes. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Um, it'd be a lot of work, Isaac. I think there's some work on it already. Some characters would be easier than others. Team's announcer, announcer Pam. Hey, if Esther wants to record every line. <laughs> I'm sure between Carl and I, we can make that happen. UI stuff is the focus? Exactly. Want the fighting polygon team back in melee? Yes! I love the fighting polygon team. They're awesome. The fighting polygon team is really cool. I can't decide if I like the fighting polygon team more or if I like the wireframes more. Oh, by the way, the reason why it says that I'm 2 minutes and 29 seconds faster on the Birdo trophy split is because last night I just let the timer run for three minutes to make it easier for myself to beat my own time. So that was artificial. I main Sheik, Isaac. I'm a dirty, filthy Sheik main. Where the heck did they come up with the fighting polygons? Were they just beta shapes? Um, I, that's a good question. I don't know where they came up with that. Um, I love it though. They probably think like, what, what generic enemies can we make in this game that aren't too high poly? I can keep the game running at 60 FPS, even with four, three of them on the screen. That's probably what happened. Both teams are a play on 3D models. And then what are the ones for Brawl called again? They're like Alloy. I think they're Alloy. Fighting Alloy team or something like that. They're not nearly as good as the Polygon team or Wireframes. Yeah, they're the Alloys, yeah. And then, I don't even know what the ones in Smash 4 are. My knowledge of Smash 4 is hilariously low. I know so little about 3DS and Wii U. Those Metal Chonkers. It's a good name for them, Doc. Oh, Me Fighters? Oh, how disappointing. Oh, that's sad. They got rid of all the character. Okay, hot take. Hot take. I think the Me Fighters is a wasted slot in Ultimate in Smash 4. Because, like, you have iconic characters from, like, you know, they're characters. And then you have literally an avatar as a fighter. What a freaking waste. I get that Miis are an iconic part of Nintendo's history. And they're, they basically represent the Wii. And that's great. And, like, a Mii Tomo stage or, like, Mii-related assist trophy would be great. But a character? I think, I, I think a <clears throat> Minecraft Steve is as good as a character as a me is. I think both of them are faceless avatars that don't really deserve to be characters. They can have representation of some kind in Smash, that's fine. They could have stages, they could have music, they could be an assist trophy even. But come on, they're not like an all-star. They're not a Nintendo or video game all-star at all. They're just an avatar. Me fighters are the most unfortunate consequence of Nintendo inside of Smash. I don't know if I go that far. But I definitely think they're not, they don't bring up the quality of the roster at all. Why is wall teching Mart's counter as Fox Falco so hard? Is it? I don't know that I've experienced that that often. You and watch is more personality than a me? Precisely, Mario Docs. Like, I completely agree. Mr. Game and Watch 
they made him silly and, and over the top to counteract the fact that it'd be very hard to make him a character and they just made it work you know and and i don't know and it, like duck hunt dog like Do duck hunt that character was great because he because jack really made it work but me just feels so lifeless and so does minecraft steve it doesn't feel like a character to me did you know the word polygon is latin for the phrase many gone remember knowledge is power make sure to type exclamation point ftd to subscribe to facts of the day did you know you can play as you can have four people playing simultaneously in Super Smash Bros. Melee on the Nintendo GameCube. When when talking about the sequel to Smash 64, Masahiro Sakurai, series director, decided no, we shouldn't remove the number of players that can play in the sequel. We should keep it the same. So he didn't reduce it from four players to two players, as is the common misconception. For Smash reveals, if you could replace the letter idea with something else. Oh, good question. Okay, Docs. That's an actually an easy one for me. It would be like... It would incorporate trophies somehow. Like... Somehow... I don't know. Like, it would... They, they like, get transformed into a trophy or something. Like, it would, Or it would be like Master Hand pulls them out of their reality. And they would be thrust into the Smash reality. That would be, in my opinion, the, the best way to do it. Because the, the letter's okay. But... And it, it's alright, but... I love it if they kept playing on the motif of, you know, Smash is a game where someone, some child is playing with the toys. So if there were like cutscenes from people's worlds, and then you just like Master Hand grab them out of their reality. Well, yeah, because Melee's intro did it really well. So did 64's intro, where it's literally just them getting snapped out of their reality and like literally grabbed. Because, like, why would they voluntarily want to be invited to Smash Brothers? Like, I get on one hand. It's like a prestigious thing from a game standpoint, but as a character in their universe, why would they want to be plucked from their universe and forced to fight other people? So I think it'd be much more effective and a much better interesting story if it was if it, if like you know this this child was able to go into other realities and dimensions and literally pluck characters that he liked, and and it'd be a metaphor for Sakurai picking the All Stars, you know, and then forcing him into the ring. I think that would work a lot better. For being honest, Game & Watch is an OC, made to represent the Game & Watch series of handhelds. Yeah, that's also true. Unless you want to count the dudes you save in the fire. Yeah, I agree with that. Zero, that's a good observation. Oh, what? I guess I guess Link doesn't agree. Kiki Mario is fun. <laughs> yeah. Notice to put Sakurai, Iwata, etc. Mii's Minecraft skins on top of Steve. You should just get rid of Steve. Just kidding. The, the, outrageous, the outrage would be real. But yeah, back to the polygon and wireframes being played on 3D models. Every 3D model has a wireframe, right? And every 3D model is made up of polygons. That's right. That's right, Link. Hey, Master Hand. How are you? Welcome. Thanks for being here. How's your Saturday going? Good to have you here for what is undoubtedly the most exciting part of the run. Where I die 700 times in a row. But hey, you know what? <clears throat> we only have 500 more to go. We already have 200 done. It is just getting started. It's pretty early in the morning for me, at least. Alloys for the skeleton. The iron parts are for the buildings that hold, up, hold them together. Yeah, that's a good way. Oh, alloys are for the skeleton. So I guess alloy is still a... Is that still a reference to that, I guess? Hmm. My, my day is going really well, Master. <clears throat> my day started about uh, an hour and a half ago or so. And I've uh, been enjoying the speedrun and just chatting with you guys and talking through it. I left like a hyena when I saw Steve in the Smash trailer, really. Yeah, I was like, I was like, okay. I was sort of a little, I was actually a little disappointed. <clears throat> Not in a bad way. Yeah. I'm glad. I was a little disappointed, to be honest. But hey, I shouldn't be disappointed because... At this point, the character I always wanted in Smash is in Smash. I can't really be mad <clears throat> at other, you know, additions to the roster that people, other people like. But I personally just don't find that he really adds much to the game as a character. And I don't like any of his gimmicks. The stage is cool. I like the stage. And they had to, like, refactor all the stages just to make them work with that character, too, which is nuts. <clears throat> Me, too. I think that would ruin the... <laughs> that would probably ruin the game. 
I think if a Fortnite character got into Smash, the chance that I play Ultimate is going to be even lower than it is now. Steve So is the only DLC character I don't have. Let's go, Space. So based. <clears throat> yeah, Sephiroth is really cool. I'm the kind of guy that wanted Ultimate to annoy people more and more. To go to the melee scene, Steve and Sonic do that. There's abysmal online. That's hilarious. I don't know though, man, Jazz. I don't know that necessarily making a roster more annoying and frustrating from one Smash game will attract you to another Smash game. You might just write off Smash as a whole at that point. So, Master, yeah, Sephiroth Begin is really cool. I think that's great. I think every model for the Polygon team in 64 is just the regular fighter models with unique texture and material. That's not true with Kirby. If you recall Kirby's, his the polygon for Kirby is a really weird shape. It's like a... It's almost like an accordion or something. Fortnite guy won't get in Smash, but the personification of flossing will be. Don't like that. You mean Sonic from the Sonic movie, Space Chicken? I got Rockman, Terry, Ryu, Cloud, and Sephiroth. I'm content. Yeah. Fair. Yoshi is different also. Yeah, you're right. Yoshi's got like spiny, like spiky teeth. It's not too different though. It's very derivative. It's the perfect plan because before DLC, people like the core game more than they like the, all the DLC jank. Well, and again, I, I I don't think what you're saying is untrue. I, that's probably that's probably fair. But the question is, you know, if people get more frustrated with ultimate as time goes on, does that draw people more to me melee or draw people away from Smash more? I think that's what you have to weigh. And the game being actively ruined <clears throat> like that drives people to this sedentary build of 2001. That's a theory. I I'd like to see some data to support that. I'm not convinced that's true. You know how Mario has Dr. Mario? Sonic will have movie Sonic. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? People would be, li be literally like, what kind of drugs is Nintendo, ta is Nintendo taking? What is Sakurai on? And then Sakurai would immediately tweet, remember, DLC Pass 2 was Nintendo's decision, not mine. Don't forget that. Like alt players be like, why do you guys like this old game? It never changes or gets new stuff. And we say, Melee. <clears throat> I would say like, a game never getting updated is almost an advantage. I know like, because if you spent years practicing a character and they keep changing, they keep getting updated and changed, that's gotta be frustrating. Like anybody that plays League of Legends and tries to like, you know, work on a champion and then they just change them. I mean, come on, that's gotta be the worst. There's a way you can cultivate and harness your skills over years without something changing arbitrarily. This is too real. People who don't understand the advantage of no patches are usually casuals. Yeah, that's true. And unfortunately, you know, with PM, you have patches and you have competitive. So that's why I think, you know, it's an it's a blessing and a curse updates, you know? And that's why I think it's interesting we're talking about um, like adding in custom stages and stuff. I think that's a kind of concerning because I've seen firsthand like what changing the meta did for PM and how it kind of split it. Um, I don't know. And, and maybe everything changing was the right move when it did, but there's, there's, also, there's also downsides. To pretend there's no downsides is, is kind of being ignorant in my opinion. Casuals don't play melee. No one plays melee and doesn't try to be a little competent with tech. Um, I don't agree with that. I, I know people that love melee and play melee because as a casual game and enjoy it as a casual game and don't play it competitively at all. So I wouldn't say no one plays melee casually. I don't think that's true. I would say a growing number of people are playing it competitive primarily. I would say that's true. Let's put it this way. Unless the person has played melee before, there's no way to know for sure the person who would move to melee if they're fed up with the newer games. Yeah, there's no way to know for sure. Unless you literally pulled people. If you pulled 200 people, I don't know, you pulled 200 people and, you know. See, hi, Esther. <laughs> Esther rose her hand. But see, Esther, I would definitely, I would still put you in the competitive camp though because you, you use tech, like you use competitive tech. 
So even though you play ca casually, I would say more accurately, you play ca you play competitively casually. I think that's I think that's ac accurate. Because I would consider myself in the same boat. I play competitive casually too. Um, do you think the big guys will ever suggest to move to the PAL version to whittle down the amount of spaces? Um, no. Uh, unless Space Chicken, I could see that maybe happening if um, Nintendo re-released Melee and it was the PAL version and, and people wanted to like standardize it. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, probably not. My answer is probably not, Space. But it's a good question. Brawl modding being nuts? Brawl modding is still nuts. I, I think... It's amazing how much is still happening in Brawl modding, in my opinion. I'm not really following it as much as I used to, but there's some really impressive stuff still happening. I play Melee competitively. That is Pokeballs and bob -ombs on very high. That sounds fun. See, the thing is, even casually, Melee is fun. Just, like, just because you have good movement in the game doesn't mean the game's not fun casually. That's absurd. Like, just because a game can be really fun competitively. Like, this is the thing that blows my mind. Is people always say like, oh man, Melee's too hard. It's like, not in certain contexts. It's just a party game. If you're playing with people that know how to play it, sure. But that's true with any game, you know? And maybe the learning curve is more significant in Melee than other games, but that's not the point. The point is, you can play Melee as a fun casual game. You can turn items on, you know, you can do whatever. And it's really fun. Just because it's a really competitive game doesn't mean it's not a fun casual game. That's absurd. I have no drive to want to play the game competitively. I play casually, but I was taught the game competitively. So that's my casual. So tech is casual. Right. And I would say... Um, that's not who we talk about when we talk about casual. Um, when we talk about casuals, we're talking about, like... Like, literally, if you were to play Melee like how you play Party Animals, that's a casual. Right? If somebody discovered insane tech and Party Animals and, like there are all these rules, um, they would consider us casuals, and anyone that plays casually with tech wouldn't really be considered casual, if that makes sense. So I think there's an important distinction there. So, Esther, I would still put you in the competitive bucket. For example, let, let me put it this way. If, if you have the skills and the tech knowledge necessary to beat most people that don't know about the tech, you're competitive, in my opinion. Um, does that mean you're going to do well in tournaments? No. That's not what I... I don't think they're the same thing. Competitive casuals are a large breed. Yeah, I would say they're the majority. I would say they're the majority. I play PM with all-star random. Every character is a different stock. Items on low, it's great. See? And I, I agree. I think Project M is also a really fun casual game. And I think a big reason for its success was actually in spite of the competitive scene. It was the, 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 the flashy costumes and the new characters and stages that they made that appealed to the casual scene. So I think if you only focus on competitive, I think you lose out on potential market share and just interest from a, you know, that's what I would say. I miss Party Animals, me too. I, I hope that that game gets released. It is interesting that PAL is the only region to have version 1.3 of Melee. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, although I think there's other cases where a more updated, ver like basically a more updated version is just the most recent version in another, you know, another uh, region. If you have PMP+, plus, you're closer to competitive and casual. Again, not necessarily. Not necessarily. I knew a lot of people in college who played casually, but they liked PM for the flashy stuff. The silly stuff. They didn't play casually. They didn't wave dash. They didn't L cancel. They didn't dash dance. They didn't, you know, ledge cancel and, and ledge dash. And they were C-Stick mashers. I am so excited for that too, Matt. I cannot wait for the full release of Party Animals. Casual Melee is most how most of us played before we knew what the word tech meant in that context. Yeah, exactly, Space. PAL came out months after NTSC. Do you know how many months? I don't know how many months that is, man, Jazz. So we're playing San Andreas. Nice, BBH. Fun stuff. Hope you're enjoying it. For us millennials, we all thought we were good at Melee because we could beat our friends. When the scene exploded, we there was nothing about how we played that could hold up. Yeah, I relate to that so hard, Space Chicken. I was, I was the kid... That was the best of my friend group, the best of my church group, the best of my school group, the best of my, you know, a, a, any group you put me in, college, high school. And I just grew this, 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 um, this, what's the word I'm looking for? 
I was definitely overconfident in my abilities. And then I went to a local in 2012 or 2013 for Melee and got... I, I wouldn't say I got completely demolished. I mean, I, I did get royally destroyed by everyone, but I was definitely in the bottom, like 20%. <laughs> Esther, what do you mean? Never mind. I love making I love making hazards for stages. Yeah, Docs, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, some of the stuff that's been made for Brawl recently has like what would cons be considered like fun for casuals, but it can be enjoyed by everybody. Like the stuff you're doing is so cool. I'm just it really inspires me. I love watching you work. Um, yeah, and you have a lot of ideas for hazards too. Definitely. Dang, didn't know the DK matchup was so bad for Falcon. I know. It, he, this DK is wrecking me. I don't know what it is. I just... He psychs me out. And I think on, the only thing he does is tap left on the stick. And I mean, that's all it takes. And I'm, I'm, I'm a goner. Hey, Dragon Master. How's it going? Good to see you. San Andreas has the dopest speedrunning scene. Really? I love to watch that, man, Jazz. Can you post on the Discord? Maybe throw a PG warning there, too. I would love to see it. It's crazy how the internet skyrockets the bar of competitive play for any game. Tetris 99 made me cry. It, that's why you gotta play like day one, day two, and people are figuring it out so you stand a chance. It, it's sort of like a speed run. You want to pioneer a speed run so that you don't, it doesn't have to be as optimized. And then when people just do it and do it and do it, the more and more optimized it gets and the harder it is to get into. Almost don't want to go back to LAN New York days. I think I'm just getting destroyed way harder because Slippy Uncle Punch was better used by everyone else. <clears throat> That's hilarious. Um, nothing is better, in my opinion, than playing in person. I think playing in person is the best experience, and as good as Slippy ever gets, it will never top it, in my personal opinion. Um, does your one controller still have the name tag? I, Aw, Link, you remember that. That's awesome. That really... I don't know why. That makes you feel really good that you remember that. Um, no, I actually took it off. I did a whole deep cleaning of my controller. And I ended up taking off the uh, the little sticker I had on there. So, <laughs> thanks, Toadie. This game's winner is Donkey Kong. Thanks, Toadie. Appreciate that. DK is David's opponent at the 2012 local. Yeah, exactly. This was my dose of reality um, recreated. Actually, Esther was there when I took off that name tag because I was doing that cleaning of. I did, uh, we cleaned the controllers, we cleaned the N64 cartridges together and stuff. <clears throat> so. So let's see, are we closer to the sub goal? Yeah, we're six subs away from bringing Pokemon Crystal clear streams back, which is pretty awesome. <clears throat> I was wondering how close we are. Agreed. Can't beat in person. However, with all the... Right configurations, powerful PC, overclock GameCube adapter, and excellent internet. Slippy is golden. I completely agree. I, I that that me saying that, I want to be clear. I think Slippy is phenomenal. I don't even consider Slippy netplay. It is that much better than what we had before. It is significantly better. I would say like the gap between console and emulation has never been closer. And I don't mean that by like a little bit. I mean by like a significant amount. Yeah. Guys, 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 don't be ridiculous. Just like how Logitech says their wireless mouse is faster than wired, Slippy is faster than playing the game on console. What is funny about that space chicken is in some senses that's actually true. So for example, if you had a perfect PC and you played on Slippy and you played locally, you actually are playing the game faster than Melee itself. So I still think because it's emulation, there's going to be gaps. So, like, you're going to get a random stutter you would never get. And, like, little things like that. Not anything that's, like... Not anything that's, like, significant or noticeable. But I think it's still technically not true. Yeah, I remember quite a lot from that Q&A. Like, the oven situation. Oh, man, Link. That's awesome. Yeah, the classic oven situation where Anthony almost blew up my entire kitchen. So, for those of you that don't know, Worst Donut has visited me multiple times. And one of the times he visited me, he somehow managed to make my entire oven spark and seemingly almost explode. And we were very scared for a second, but everything was fine. I play Crystal Slippy in 1080p widescreen with per pixel lighting. Retro gaming is better. Is better than your hobby. What? Also, the polling fix is nice. Yeah, the polling fix is awesome. 
That back do be rolling on Slippy. I know, rollback is, is everything. It's crazy. It's so good. That being said, um, obviously someone's connection isn't the best. You get the teleporting and the warping and stuff, which you would never get on console. Uh, but again, compared to lag-based netplay, it's not even a contest. It's so much better. And I remember everyone like trying to convince me that netplay was like similar to playing in person as long as you had a good ping. And I was like, no, I'm sorry, it's not. I never, ever conceded that. Not one time. You'll never find me saying it. Even playing someone that lived an hour away from me, I'm like, sorry, it's not the same. And I'm not even willing to say it's the same now as Slippy, but it is almost the same. I'm willing to say that. It's very close to the same. Just wait until 2026 when Analog has a matte black FPGA game view with native Slippy support. You're making me very excited, Space. And I think I'm probably going to buy... It's so expensive getting the Analog with both the device itself and the dock but i might break down and get it just because it's so freaking cool and i can play other games not just game boy and game boy advance and stuff i think the best part about melee is how it fulfilled my competitive skateboarding game craving <clears throat> what do you mean did you discover tony hawk through melee or melee through tony hawk not even close feel wise you might be able to trick me with slippy yeah big agree i completely agree with that you have no proof of that, and it totally doesn't make a horrifying buzzing sound. Worst donut, 2018. <laughs> Anthony is very well spoken. Um, but for 199 for the device, it's very reasonable price. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's just tough to... This is very unfair of me, but in my brain, I go back to... I, I, I literally have four devices already that can play Game Boy games. And I'm spending $200 on another one. But I know I guess way more than that. But that's where my mind goes. Because I've got the Game Boy Advance. The original one I had as a kid. I have an SP that I bought a few years ago. Just because I wanted an SP and I never had one as a kid. I've got the Game Boy Advance GameCube player. I could play on my GameCube. And then I have a DS Lite that has the slot on the bottom for Game Boy Advance games. So, so yeah. Oh, come on, my throat's getting a little dry, and I ran out of water a bit ago. Uh-oh. Guess I'm talking too much here. <laughs> King Charles, thanks for the reset. I appreciate that. And the answer, don't rush. How <laughs> Please don't rush. Keep winning? <laughs> yeah. How does Don Kong keep winning? Well... Well, Charles, I mean, he's just that good. He presses left on the stick, and I just get too intimidated, you know? How are you, Charles? If I recall correctly, you were here on the last speedrunning stream I did. Um, and you resubbed then, too, and you are confused. So I'm glad to confuse you twice. Thanks for the resub, man. 11 months is a long time. It's almost out of year. Let's heck and go. Speedrun the speedrun so you can get water. Yeah, good idea. I've been all around the square resolutions lately for some reason. Huh. Like, you mean you mean aspect ratio space? Oh, dude, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad your Saturday's going well. My day's going really well. I'm having a lot of fun running this game again. And by the way, guys, in five games, we'll be halfway done with our, uh, our SDs, so. Whoa, we're halfway there. Hype indeed, Carl Dacious. Using those better TV emotes. It, it is fun to be able to um, to keep my old emotes in some way that people can utilize. That I don't know, I like that. Oh, heck. I definitely like my new emotes better, but it's fun to see people choosing to use the old ones. Yeah. I think another reason why that one works so well is I did a closer crop of it, and I think... When emotes are as close of a crop as humanly possible, they, they you know, you want to use them more. <laughs> Thanks for all those pogs. <laughs> I love it too that they show up on stream. So even if people don't have better TV installed, they can like look up there and see what you're doing. That's another reason I wanted to keep on screen chat, you know. Dave is in the chat. <laughs> Floosh. 
All right, yeah, we passed the 350 mark, so we're more than halfway <clears throat> to unlocking those characters. So a little recap of what we'll be doing after this. After the final eight VS matches, we will be doing home run contest as Yoshi to unlock Yoshi's story. Yeah, the Yoshi story stage. Um, then we'll be doing all the break the targets, and there's some really tough ones. I'll probably try to handle the tough break the targets ones first. That will unlock Mr. Game and Watch, and then doing all the break the targets ones will unlock one of the stages. I don't remember which which stage. And then I'll complete classic mode as Game and Watch to unlock Flat Zone. Then I will be All Star as Roy, and that will unlock Battlefield. And then we have the final 51 events <clears throat> to unlock Final Destination. So, how long must it have taken someone to unlock Mewtwo without the internet? Dude, I know exactly what you mean. Honestly, probably most people... I mean, I guess I don't know. 20 hours isn't that long of play time. If, especially if you play... If you, it depends on how many friends you had. If you had a lot of friends, uh, you would probably get them pretty quickly. Because um, you'd either play, you either go through 700 matches or you'd play 20 hours of gameplay. I don't know which one would be first, technically. Hey, Fabry, welcome back. Good to see you in chat. How are you? There's another Q&A blast from the past. Smash Bros. <laughs> Smash Bros. Eclipse. That's right. There's a carbon copy of the Smash Dojo. But I want, I just wanted to make Smash content so badly online. And here I am. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing well, Fabry. I'm doing really well. Today's been really awesome so far, and I'm really enjoying this run, so I'm, I'm in good spirits. <clears throat> My family and I unlocked him in a couple of weeks as a kid. Ha 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 ha. After I won a versus match, he came up. Let's go. Carl Pogged. In fact, imagine that current emote, but like, 20-ish years younger. <clears throat> and that's what Carl looked like. Heat. And now you have the Melee HD Asset Library. I've got the Blippy site. I do a lot of streams for Melee and stuff. And uh, tutorials. So yeah. I definitely... I'm doing what I wanted. Which I'm very thankful for. By the way, the automated um, like number tracking and the fact that it's skipping the stage selection screen, I can't tell you how convenient that is. Even though it only means pressing start one fewer time and pressing a button one fewer time, you have to understand that's literally 1,400 presses fewer now that I have to do. And so that's a lot I would normally have to do. 1,400. Because right now I have to hit start see i guess just 700 times and then control my character to death every every time but gotta love the stomp you have a great emote for my character carl <clears throat> all right obviously you guys can tell i got rid of the green screen for this one I actually color corrected the green screen filter I have for my new green screen. It did not work as well. It translates for my old one. So I just thought, ah, I'll ditch the green screen this time around and just kind of make it a little more of a sliver. Screen sliver. Also, the webcam is not where it normally is either. Only it's on this monitor, and I put it over here <clears throat> so I could be looking more at you guys while I play. Falcon just has a big fear of Donkey Kong. He does. He's running away at all costs. Obviously, you guys can tell. I look over here when I read chat. So, the monitor's over there where chat is. And then I, my gameplay monitor is here. Falcon just had a big fear of DK. Super slithery. Super slithery. What does that mean? <laughs> All for the stream experience. That's right. Monkey scares hyperspeed car driver. <laughs> Not clickbait. You won't believe your eyes. What he does in match 439. 
DK won't stop chasing him. He won't. He is determined. And But he won't reach me. That's my promise to you guys. It was funny. When I was practicing this last night, I actually ended up winning one of the matches because it was Yoshi's Island. And I did my dare thing. And Donkey Kong happened to walk into it. So I actually killed him. And he, I actually won one of the matches in the 700 that I did, which is hilarious. You called your video so section a slither? A slither? I did? That's bizarre. I don't remember saying that. I don't know why I would have said that. <laughs> I believe you, but that's freaking weird. Drift King can't catch Ultra Speed Racer. Is DK the Drift King because of Mario Kart Fabry? Like what? I picked this stage if I could. Look how easy of a death that is. It's just left down, left down, left down. Slither owns, earns at least 30 Dirk coins. Oh, is that so, Miss? Mr. Space. <laughs> yeah, the derp counter is invisible for speedrun stuff. Because I don't want to be thinking about that <clears throat> while I'm doing a speedrun. But I want to focus on chat as much as I can. So, Miss Huey can't find that clip anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where it would be. You could try searching for Huey on Discord. Maybe it would come up. Maybe Donnie would know where it is. Oh, shoot. Holy snap. What? Someone's at the door. And the door's locked. I forgot about that. All right, I'm going to try to run for it. Guess I'm in pajamas. Laugh at me. No. Door's unlocked. Oh wait, maybe it's like the mailman or something. I assumed it was Esther, but... Dude, I'm always in my pajama bottoms. Just so you guys know, I live in my pajama bottoms. For work, for everything else. <clears throat> the mailman's like, uh... I hope it's something good. Falcon's running away from Nintendo Ninja DK to avoid getting a game again. Ha <laughs> ha! Mario Dogs. That's so good. What did you need my Gecko Gold League for? Um, because I, I was talking to someone and we were trying to... I was going to have him help me parse through the codes and stuff and test them with me. The real clip was us all along. The quality on Streamlink is way higher. The, on Streamlink is way higher than what, Space? <clears throat> um, Christy with the lol. Hey, ghosts, what's up? Yeah, there is. So you can see the current count, right? The number goes up at the end of every game. And my goal is to get that to 692. And once I get that to 692, I can unlock the characters that I need to beat the game and continue the speed run. So yeah, I, I understand why this is a bit confusing. How's it going, ghosts? It's good to see you. Browser. Audio and video, noticeable difference. Oh. Oh, you mean, I see what you're saying. You're, you're viewing my stream on Streamlink. Wow, I didn't know that it was a noticeable difference of it being better quality. Cool, I didn't really compare them or think to compare them. I assumed it was the same. But I'm glad that it's better, it's awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> Ghost is so confused. Yeah, this is this is without a doubt the most exciting part of the run. I mean, just killing myself 700 times. Uh, how much longer of this will there be? It'll probably be another. Um, how long has it taken me so far? 45 minutes. It'll probably be another 45 minutes. I'd say. So I think we're about halfway done. Actually, we're more than halfway done. We're at 450 now. Glad you're doing all right. Glad that you're here, too. My Saturday's been going great. The good news is, I should have thought to unlock the door earlier if Esther was visiting, so I'm glad that I took the time now to unlock the door. Otherwise, I could have been bad. Esther could have been locked out, or I have to pause and do something. Oh, David, so it's live split? That's used for the timer? Yeah. So I'm using live split for the timer, 
and I'm using auto split for the automatic counter increase and I'm using a custom app that a dear friend of mine made for me which is nice because um, it wouldn't be compatible with my count the counter application I normally use so actually the, the, the person that currently has the world record for this category is the one who made it for me which is nice well he made it for himself I'm sure but then he packaged it and gave it to me also which is nice and he customized it a bit to fit some of my hotkeys I'm feeling glad that I'm... I'm feeling glad. I'm feeling bad that I'm blanking on his name, but if somebody wants to go to speedrun.com and um, copy the username of the person that currently has the PB for the EX category, I think, Link, maybe you would know how to do that. I don't know if you're on mobile or not, or if you'd want to, but if you could find who has the current world record for um, all stages and all all characters in the, e in the extras section, the, the category extension... Yeah, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Just I want to make sure I get his name right. And if I if I go to the whole stream and not say his name, I I feel really bad because he gave me some pointers and he helped me out in a few key ways. So, yeah, guys, it's King Charles. King Charles has the world record right now. So, King Charles, I have a question specifically about this run. Um, what's your method for defeating um, Event Fifty One? What character do you use for Event Fifty One? Please tell me. Please tell me. Ara Ara. Thos, Arathos. I don't know. I told you I'd butcher his name. Thank you, Mario Dox, for finding it. Yeah, he, he's the guy that um, that got me and helped me out with that little widget. So thank you to Ara. I'll call him Ara from now on, just to get, to not mispronounce the latter part of his name. Thank you, Mario Dox. Just seconds too slow. Well, Link, thanks anyways for looking it up, too. I appreciate it. By the way, you guys will see a time on there of mine that's, like, basically nine hours. And um, the reason for that is I did the, the four-hour Mewtwo thing, which added so much time onto it. But, um... For those four hours, I was playing slippy games with viewers, and it was a lot of fun, so... I'm really glad that I did that. And also, I got to, like, chill out and eat birthday cake and... Or birthday brownie and ice cream with Esther, so that was fun. I found the wrong name. <clears throat> oh, really? I had my cousin do it for me. He used Mario! Oh, really? Your cousin did it for you, so... What you're saying is you're not the speedrun holder. Your cousin's the speedrun holder. Oh, okay. Because I actually had speedrun.com already open. Oh, gotcha. Cool. Yeah, Aro's the guy. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You just kind of added yourself there, Charles. I don't, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I mean, you kind of did it to yourself, my friend. <laughs> Carl, use Master Hand. So what's funny is you can actually use Master Hand in a lot of these... Like, well, obviously, it's a, it's actually explicitly against the rules to use Master Hand. Actually, if someone... Actually, look at this. These are the rules for the run, if anyone's curious. And it actually explicitly talks about no using Master Hand, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I backed you into a corner. You know me. How fun was it making the route for this? So fun, Space Chicken. I feel like I was charting new territory. So basically, what I did was... I looked at all the unlock criteria. And then I stacked it against each other. And I thought, okay... What's the most easy way to unlock all this stuff, you know? And I thought, oh, well, I guess the easiest way is to leave the game on for four hours. Because so I learned about the exploit. That's normally 20 hours can be reduced to four hours. I thought, well, that's a huge time save. But it turns out just doing all the VS mo matches in a row is technically faster. And then I thought, well, you need to do all the event matches. So then I looked up an event match speed run. And I learned all the tech... Like, I learned a lot of the things that fuzziness does for event match. Which you'll see at the end of this run. So I thought, okay, when I get to event matches, I can just do all those things. And then also target test is included in this run. So I looked at the target test speed run to look at tactics for how to beat the target test. So it was like kind of a combination of a lot of different speed runs in one. So technically, every time I do one of these speed runs, I can technically also use the same VOD to go against my target test speed run. And add a event match, event mode, event match speed run too. So I've actually submitted runs for all those based on my previous run because I could. So I'd go for world record for master hand category if it wasn't banned. Hey, you can make your own category. That'd be kind of fun, Carl. 
multi speed run. Yeah, exactly. Good question, Space Chicken. I had a whole like um, one note sheet spread out with all the different little options and until I like narrow down like what I thought would be the most efficient. And I think the biggest difference that I have now versus before is Ara when he ran it, he had Birdo Trophy in the beginning. He had the RNG thing in the beginning. And my justification for having it at the end was, as you saw in this run, in fact, if I did Adventure Mode or Classic Mode or something, and the Birdo Trophy just appeared, I could completely skip the last part, right? But I think, overall, this makes a lot more sense, doing it in the beginning. Even though I encountered the Birdo Trophy again, and technically I could have saved that 12 seconds, it's 12 seconds, and it's a little bit of RNG in the beginning. It's a little irritating to restart, but... It's not that bad, and it ultimately doesn't take that long, so. No, no, so the category did not exist on it, Link. So I added two categories to Melee. I added all characters and stages unlocked and all characters unlocked. And all characters is very similar to this, except you don't do 50-minute Melee, and you don't do, like, home run contests, but you still do... Um, you basically do everything except for the event matches and except for doing classic mode as Game & Watch and except for 15 Minute Melee and except for Home Run Contest. You do everything else. And except for the Birdo, Birdo Trophy. So, um, if you're looking to do a run like this, that's a bit more... It's still, Unfortunately, the most grindy part is still there. Of, you still have to do this part of it. But it is less of a time commitment overall because you're not doing the event matches, which adds probably another good hour or so onto the run. So if you want a slightly shorter run, and you want to just try this yourself, you could try a character's only unlock, which would end at doing all the break the targets um, stuff besides Game & Watch. So. so there you go, Link. There's your answer. It was really fun because I had to go in the forums and basically request that the new categories get added. And I was told, like, hey, like, we can add it to category extensions, but until we have like a lot of people like that are racing for it, we're not gonna merge it to mainline. And I said that's fine. I don't mind. I just want it to live somewhere. So they added it, and and a few people have come out of the woodwork to actually go against my score, which is awesome. So yeah, you're grinding right now. I just thought you were trying to get used to the controls. <laughs> yeah, man. I I just my goal is to hit Donkey Kong, and I just can't seem to do it. Not even after my 468th attempt, unfortunately. I'll get it one day. I'll get it one time. I, I know it. As long as you have faith in me. It's funny because your mindset is like die, 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 die. <clears throat> for this part. And then you, it completely flips for the latter half of the run when you're like, you know, you want to survive as much as you can. So, Because for what I'm planning to do, the category already exists for all the Majora's Mask temples, but only Woodfall has... Oh, I see. Only Woodfall has the 100% category run. Gotcha, okay. Almost halfway through. I want to head over and make myself some breakfast. Oh my gosh, yeah. That'd be awesome, Essie. Yeah. Please come over. The door's unlocked, by the way. Somebody uh, knocked on my door, and so I unlocked the door, and I guess it was the male person. And I... Uh, realized that it was a good thing I took the time to unlock the door. So, all right, thanks, Esther. Yeah, please scream extra loud and worry all my neighbors. That'd be awesome. Thank you. No one has ever done 100% runs for Snowhead, Great Bay, or Stone Tower. And what makes you want to do Stone Tower, Link? I'm curious. I, do you just, is Stone Tower your favorite one? Is that why you want to do it? If it isn't even speedrunning, he's making a visual representation of the F-Zero franchise over the last 15 years. Dang, Space Chicken. That was harsh. <laughs> Carl! True love and some emotes. Yeah, Carl. We need an excuse for you to come out here. Hey, Joey Lee. Well, what's up? So, good question. I'll answer you in a second. David unlocks all characters and stages, but not the door. Oh, my gosh. Mario Docs with the bangers today, man. Dude. I know. Imagine, imagine I unlock all the characters and stages in Melee, but I can't even unlock my own door. That's kind of sad. Am I right, gamers? All right, so Joey, to answer your question on that, the 692 matches, the point of that is um, basically when I get close enough to 700 where I can go back to standard 
some standard matches. I unlocked like seven characters or something, or six characters, I think. And um, then, because um, uh, this is the only, like, this is the fastest way to unlock Mewtwo, basically, is to get the 700 VS matches, and you unlock some other characters along the way. So I'm basically unlocking all those characters in a row by doing this. So hopefully that answers your question. So that would be dope. Stone Tower is my favorite dungeon. Okay, I thought so, Link, but I wasn't exactly sure. Can Butternut marry Piper? Do you mean Pepper? Oh, wait, maybe Piper is your pet. I was thinking of um, Alexis and Donald. When you've been lurking for an hour, hey, Sai, thank you for lurking. Seriously, you've been bumping that viewer up, and you've been making it so more people have the potential to see the stream, so thank you. Seriously. Uh, Carl, do you take Esther to be your lawfully wedded wife? David, I dope! Gosh dang it, if it was up to Esther, it wouldn't be lawfully wedded wife. It would be lawfully wedded something else that I'm not going to repeat, because it would it's cheap points. But you know what I, you know what I would say. Piper's your cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really cute cat. That, the one that you saved, right? Yeah, see, Esther knows the answer. <laughs> yes, yes, Carl, it is. Wine. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, see you soon, Esther. Oh, gosh. It is so funny, like, even though I'm doing the same thing 700 times, I still love this game. I did the same thing 700 times in a row last night. I'm doing the same thing 700 times in a row today. But I'm playing my favorite game of all time. I'm playing on original hardware. I'm chatting with some of my favorite buds. My, 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 my bestest friendos in chat. And I'm working towards a PB and a world record. What is not to love? Drive safe. How lawful is a wedded cheems exactly? It's probably not protected under the law, to be totally honest with you, Space. Um, I think the legal footing might be a bit tenuous at best. But hey, you know what? I'm not a legal expert. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a. I almost said I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney. So take what I say with a grain of salt there. I'm happy to give legal advice, but it shouldn't be considered actual legal advice. Somebody needs to clip me saying, I'm happy to give legal advice and just cut it off there. So it makes it seem like I'm trying to, trying to give legal advice and then I can get sued and uh, my life would be ruined. What do you guys think? Sound like a good time? It's doggone lawful. It ain't lawful. Christy with the salt. Man, the sound of Captain Falcon dying is like my new favorite sound now. All right, guys, we're only 200 VS matches away. We are well on our way. We're at number 500 out of 700, so making good progress. I also debated on like doing music, like other music, and basically muting the music in game, but ultimately decided to go the whole authentic, everything authentic, you know. You can perfectly replicate the Captain Falcon dying sound. <laughs> Ooh! I would say quite. It's a little goofy, but you might be able to see what I'm trying to do with it. 100 deaths for 10 minutes. That sounds about right. Yeah. That sounds about right. Maybe 100 deaths per 12 minutes? Maybe that's a bit more accurate? There are two potential dungeons I could do for Wind Waker, but honestly, Stone Tower is probably the easiest starting point. Really? Even though it's one of the toughest temples? That's crazy. Excuse me, government? Yeah, a streamer who is not an attorney gave me legal advice on the marriage of canines. Yeah, I know. It's awful. And then they would respond to you and say, no, it's unlawful. Get it? Get it? That's it. Like you tried with Butter and Esther. What? Ooh! <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, okay, you're right. 
That was that was a cooking stream clip, wasn't it? <laughs> Forgot about that. So my favorite thing is um I was talking to Art of Mana last night, and uh, he's like, "Oh yeah, and by the way, um, are you and Esther like a couple?" It's like we are. Suddenly, I need to make my way to the bank and get some coffee. Definitely has nothing to do with the puns that are being made. Interesting coincidence, Christy. Yeah, we'll log that in our record book for the most crazy coincidence ever. That's even more of a crazy coincidence than showing up at, like, at Party City to give somebody a birthday message. You know what I'm saying, Christy? One of my favorite clips of your stream. I'm glad you like it, Carl. But I'm sorry, if we're doing a contest... Okay, Donkey Kong, now is not the time to actually fight. Holy cow. Looks like Donkey Kong literally did start attacking me there. Um, I does not beat Pirate Waluigi. That's the best clip on Twitch. I'm sorry. You, it can't be beat. You can, you can try to, you know... You can try to praise my clips, and I appreciate that, because, hey, that's nice of you to say and everything, but when it really comes down to it, nothing really beats the Carl Waluigi. <laughs> wow. A nummy drink? Wow. Um, shoot. I can't think of any nummy drinks right now. I just, honestly, water sounds good to me. <laughs> but thank you for the offer, Esther. I appreciate that. DK with the choke. Yeah. You can't be wrecking me. I'll be back. All right. Thanks for the alert, Christy. The temple can actually be pretty straightforward. Plus, as long as I can get something before Stone Tower, I can have it for the runs to do stuff like magic not being a factor and not something you have to worry about. Okay. So is that allowed for the speed run? Diggy's about to go bananas. Right? Diggy's getting real tired of your homie stuff. <laughs> He's like, I want a challenge, dude. Look at him just trying to fight and me just denying it every time. Poor guy. I'm not really not really being very fair to him. I shall take a white mocha 16 ounce three shots. Okay. Um, Carl, if you don't mind doing a poll in chat for me on my behalf. I want to get a pulse. Who likes coffee in chat? And who does not like coffee? I don't I don't care if you like tea or something better. I want to know if you like or dislike coffee in chat. And I'd love to see a poll of that. Because coffee is one of those things where I get why people drink it in some senses to get energy. You cannot vote five times. Try to try to limit how many times people can vote, Carl. <laughs> um, because it's one of those things where I get it as like an energy source. But... I just, I can't get over the fact that people like how it tastes. Like, I'm, I, my mind's actually blown. Thank you, Carl. Okay, we have, looks like we have four options. We have love it, like it, meh, and hate it. Now, I have my own response. And I'm going to actually vote on my own, because my vote counts, all right? Even on my own stream. Wow. It's a lot more divided than I would have expected. Yes, because caramel. No frapping. No, thank you, Esther. Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate that. I, I seriously appreciate that. I, I'm good with just water, though. I do not dislike coffee. I just prefer other things. Gotcha, docs. Gotcha. Thanks, Carl. The four cold stone sizes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have you got gotta have it, love it, like it, meh, and hate it. If if you get a if you request a hate it size, they actually give you money back from a previous order. If you order a meh, that's their unofficial name for the the spoon like taste test. When you get like a taste test at Cold Stone, you're actually ordering a meh, but just nobody knows about it. This is blowing my mind. I'm the only person that hates it. People love it. They but also a little. A growing number of people say meh. Black, raspberry, blue. Hey, Ash, you might give me one of those, please? I changed my mind. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <clears throat> the only items I can't have on me at the start of the, the run are light arrows, giant's mask, fierce Jeeves mask, great fairy sword. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, you do know me, Esther. Thank you. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> People just want a spoonful of coffee. Oh, a spoonful of coffee helps the energy go up. The energy 
go up the energy go up i'm currently drinking a hexa shot breve excuse me no make it no make up words in chat space chicken we need real english please not words like hexa shot wait so you voted hate it i voted hate it carl i did i'm the only person apparently that voted hate it wow i have a, a cup full of ice really Sai, why would you just have a cup full of ice? Do you have any other liquid other than ice? Uh, ice is not a liquid. Do you have any liquid in addition to that ice? That's how I should say it. Ice is yummy. Okay. What do you hate about it? I hate how it tastes. Um, I don't like the idea that I could become reliant on it if I didn't have a, su you know, a sufficient amount of energy. Um, I also don't like how it smells at all. I don't like um, how it makes... It, how it might stain my teeth. I don't like how it makes my breath smell if I were to drink it. So pretty much all around hate it, unfortunately. I know there's some people that don't like the taste of it, they like the smell of it, or they like the aesthetic of it. I guess I'll give a pass for the aesthetic. The aesthetic of coffee, I can get behind. The, like the warm coffee in the morning kind of thing, I dig it. But see, I think tea serves it much better because it actually tastes good to me. Dude, I should call my six shot drinks Revolver. I can get behind that space chicken if you call it that. I said meh because I've never had coffee. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't recommend it. If you can avoid, and also coffee is one of those things where I'm like, you're not really missing out, in my opinion, if you don't ever have it. Tea, it's like, oh my gosh, you need to try tea. Tree, tea is amazing. There's so many kinds of tea that are super good. Coffee, you're not missing much. And also you might get addicted to it. So. Wow, David, I can forgive a lot of things, but you hate the smell too? I know. I'm kind of an extreme case. I, I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that. Ice is a, is a solid liquid. All valid points. So, Carl, I'm curious. Do you like it? Okay, so here's the results according to Carl. And don't worry. We can definitely trust Carl. He's not lying. I promise. Love it with Love it won with four votes. Mad had three votes. Like it had two votes. And hate had one vote. Wow. So I'm the only hater in all my Twitch chat. A full bowling alley of votes. True. I like it. Man, I would... Okay, here's the other thing. I actually would hate... I would hate uh, coffee even more if it wasn't for one song that completely changed my perception of coffee, and that was a song called Coffee Girl. You should look it up. Don't, don't really remember who made the song, but it's, it's a really good song that you should check out on... Uh, I believe it's on SoundCloud if you want to look it up, so... Yeah, I have no need to try coffee. I have enough energy. That's good. Yeah. It's funny, Link, because I do too. I uh, I have a lot of energy also. And so I don't. I never have felt compelled to consume energy drinks or coffee or anything like that. So you voted like it, Carl. Okay, gotcha. I'm not addicted to coffee. I just took 100 hours to write and produce a song about it. I can quit any time that I want. Wow, a hundred hours is a long time. Is that pretty typical for a song? I, I mean, I, I don't know what I was expecting. It just seems like a long time. It's not my favorite, but man, I love that caffeine. Kind of addicted. There you go. So would, could you drink something that has like, could you drink like tea or something that has like a, ca like a caffeine substitute? You asked for extra sweet blue raspberry? Esther, let's heck and go. Thank you so much. That is perfect. They definitely didn't have any blue raspberry things when I've checked, so you knew exactly what I wanted, so thank you. That's very nice of you. Actually, that one didn't take 100. I speed ran that song. You speed ran the song creation process. Nice face. So that was only 22 hours. That's a really big time save. Have you uploaded that to speedruns.com yet? I love tea. That's my favorite, but feels less appropriate in the morning. Really? Oh, man. I think tea feels very appropriate in the morning. I, unless you mean less appropriate than coffee, which I, I can see why you'd think that. I still think... I still have tea in the morning. It's not Starbucks. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, there is my incorrect assumption. The current count stopped. Oh, <gasps> it did? Are you sure? Are you sure the current count stopped? Can somebody else verify that, please? This category doesn't allow glitches, right? 
Um, it doesn't allow the master hand glitch, but it allows a lot of other ones. It's been at 532 for 4SD. Cyber, thank you so much for finding that out. That is huge. So I'll add four. It's going up from what you can see. Can somebody clip that? Is it too late to clip it and verify? Because if someone can verify that, I can manually increase it myself and make the number match what it should be. But I'd really like somebody to confirm that if they could and watch the clip back if they possibly can. That would be super helpful. Because if I don't, it'll... Thank you, Carl. Because it'll save me so much time if I can be certain how many... It's gone up. That's cr that's super crazy because I tried this last night and it worked perfectly. So I wonder if I clicked something or I messed something up or whatever. Because it does work. So you're finally here. Performing for you. After this quick 100% Skyrim speed run, right? Gold splits for coffee girl. Heck yeah, dude. I was at 531 for a minute. Hmm. Is it? Thank you, Cyber, so much for saying that. Thank you, Carl, for counting. Oh my gosh, that is super helpful. You guys are MVPs. <clears throat> that is really helpful. Cyber, thank you for calling it out. Carl, thank you for clipping and trying to count how many were missed. I really appreciate that. Question for you, Dave. How many times do you think you have to flip Stone Tower to get everything? Oh, uh, I'm guessing five, maybe? Is, it, is five correct? Appreciate that, Cy. It's funny, because I guess my eyes were more focused on the number moving when I wasn't also reading chat. Oh, it's three. Okay. Wow, that's a lot fewer than I assumed. Cool. What made you want to do do a speed run for for that link? Like, what inspired you to do it? Just the fact that no one else had done it yet, and you and you just really like Stone Tower. That's my, that's my assumption, anyways. I like the idea of speed running. I just don't know if there's that many games I could really effectively speed run. And a lot of that has to do with not necessarily my aptitude for wanting to try it, but just how many other people have already done it. It feels like it's so much to get into. Counted five, and that was as far back as I could go. Okay. Okay. It could have been more. So it's at least five. So I'm going to add five. And that, because that's as best as I'm going to get, I think. Oh, crap. Why didn't it work? Crap, I, I don't know how many I added. I got I got distracted and I messed it up. I had two more, and I think that should be about right. It's the ice that strengthens my senses. <laughs> the ice, oh, is that right? Should I be eating ice too? Look at those golds. Hey, Iron Bean, what's up, Bean? <laughs> Good to see you, yeah. So I'm comparing this, this um, against what I tried last night, so. And if you notice, the first one was like three minutes. The Birdo Trophy one was three minutes. That was way longer than it needed to be, but I just wanted to set it up at to give myself a, a little pass. 100%ing it only takes around 600 hours. Oh, speedrunning Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Dude, that sounds like a nightmare. The ice shall bless you. Join me. 693 hours on average. Wow. That is insane. What do they do? Just like pause and resume? Like, they can't do that in a row. They would die. They would literally die. You missed this hungry box stall impression playing 50 minute melee. <laughs> yeah. So I was doing a 50 minute melee bean. And for that, I basically just had to sit there as Jigglypuff and hope that I, I, what, they didn't hit me. That's what, uh, <laughs> that's what Space is referring to. Didn't faint on stream though. Yeah, agreed, Carl. Thank you, Sai. He didn't faint, not enough. Well, so I've been wanting to do a speed run for a while, but wasn't sure what would be a good game to start. Then I noticed some games had individual level categories. So I noticed that Zelda games had it, so I saw Stone Tower 100% no runs. There you go. 
A week of contemplating. Well, I'm glad you settled on that. You guys are only 130 matches away from unlocking Mewtwo and all the other characters that we'll be unlocking. So. Worst case scenario, I, uh, I lose some time, but I don't think it'll be significant, even if I get a few wrong. Um, so I think we're good there, but... Bean, how's your Saturday going? Thanks so much for being here. <clears throat> I would love to speed run, but I want to stream, which I can't because my home is messy and there's a lot of noises. Oh man, that's that's frustrating. Yeah, and if you speed run, it's tough. Hmm. One thing you could do, Mario Docs, if you wanted to, was is you could stream with a muted mic. Or you could just do like a local recording with a muted mic and no webcam. That's an option if you wanted to. Um, I get why you might not want to do that, but that is an option. Oh, it's good. Thanks for asking. Math lectures. Whew. That doesn't. That sounds a little dry, unless you're into math. But the fact that you use a, a slanty face indicates to me that you're not as stoked about it as a mathematician might be. What do you call a math... Aesthetician. A, a math aesthetician. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. DK Rap is a heckin' jam, dude. I agree. I like the original on the 64, too. Um, so here's a question. Do you guys like the Melee version of the DK Rap or the uh, DK64 version? I grew up with the DK64 version, surprisingly. Because it came out earlier than the Melee one. But I also like the Melee one, too. Do you like 64 more than Melee? Yeah. I like both of them. It's really hard for me to pick. I'm doing a watching a clock speed run. <laughs> Space, please tell me more about these speed runs. <laughs> yeah. What what stress do you have? What, what are your biggest time saves when you do the watch a clock speed run? I want to know. May mathematician. May mathematician. A math estertation. <laughs> I like melee ZK rap because of the first one I heard. Fair enough. But yeah, the only reason that it takes three flips is because two stray fairies. Oh. <laughs> so, epitome. Um, you'll notice there's a number that's going up. It says current count. I'm trying to get that number to 692. And once I do that, I can unlock all the characters I want to unlock to progress and continue the run. It's very grindy. It's about an hour and a half of the run. is me just dying over and over. But it's, uh, it's technically the fastest way to unlock the characters, so that's what I'm doing. It's a little grindy, but, I mean, hey, if you have the people you're able to talk to, then... No skin off my neck. Wait. No skin off my bones. No skin off my teeth. Whatever the saying is. Yeah, dying run pog indeed. So far, I haven't had any gold splits since starting. But I've matched my PB for 419 runs now. That's impressive. Like, when you say match it, do you mean, like, on the dot? Because that's very impressive. So, well done, Space. You summon the chest for them while it's inverted. But can only open them when it's uninverted. Oh. Space, do you do glitchless or glitched? <laughs> Good question. Nice to do the down tilt for no reason. No skin off my nose. That's the phrase. No foam off my cappuccino. Stop trying to infuse coffee in my life space. I know what you're trying to do. I think the... I thought it was something about teeth. Oh, oh, oh I, I, it, I know what I'm thinking of. It's... No? No, I don't know what I'm thinking of. I thought I did for a second. No skin off my nose. No skin off my teeth. No SD textures on... For my melee menu. <laughs> yeah, you, what you're seeing is all SD textures. Alright, guys, 600. That means there's only 100 more VS matches to go. Held on by the skin of its teeth. Okay. That's the phrase I'm thinking of. Yeah. And then, so what's skin off your nose? No skin off my nose? What's that phrase? Can clocks exist without batteries? I don't know. 
I don't think so. I think clocks. Unless you use a sundial. No skin off my back. Okay. No skin off my back. Okay. This is the a ridge. I can probably cut down the number to one stray fairies potentially. But those two are very close to each other, so it doesn't even matter. I see what you're saying, Link. Okay. <clears throat> You never heard of that? That's basically saying, I don't care. Doesn't hurt me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I have heard that. I have heard that. But there's a lot of skin off things, sayings, that I guess I'm confused by. <laughs> this is a strange etymological hole I've jumped into. No skin off my nose is also original. It is. It's quite the etymological perplexity. Isn't it? <clears throat> You can say whatever you want, really. No skin off my toe. I can say one that would make myself cringe, so I won't. I'm going to do it anyways, for entertainment value. Um, no skin off my eyeball. That, that ooh, makes me feel bad, say. Or the new and improved. The new and improved what, Carl? No skin off my I'll cancel. Shake my head and people. Using skins on their off, on their noses. Vanilla noses are better, right? Don't use some custom skin on your nose. Just use the OG one, please. No skin off my Jones. This is how Carl's Jones is. How do you Jones? I realize that how do you Jones? This is how I Jones works. But in other like in any other context, it doesn't. Like this is how Carl's Jones is. It doesn't work nearly as well. You can say, how does Carl Jones, I guess? How does Carl Jones? I guess, no, that works. I'm just making it dumb. Skinless Jones myself. I like glitchless Jones. Glitchless Jones soda beverages. So what's cool about this program is it'll automatically close at the 700 mark. I think. So it won't be running still in the background or anything. Why did I jump? That was weird. I've done the same thing over and over so many times I decided to jump an extra time that time. Pausing. Rip my best time because I paused. May oh, a Super Smash Brothers Melee Jones Soda? Mmm, I like it. I gotta mock one of those up. Gotta enter it into the production. Get it on store shelves. Free Melee. It should have free Melee on it. <clears throat> it should have a link to blippy.gg on it. And the Jones branding should be, like, minimized in favor of Melee. Oh, and I only say that because they're leaving me on red on Twitter still. And I'm, I'm still salty about it. Oops, pause and cost you a stock. <laughs> True space. Thank you for keeping me accountable. In tournament, when you pause by even by accident, that's that's a, the cost of a stock. So I better die. <laughs> a battlefield reskin, Jones Field. I love it. What would melee Jones taste like? Um, I guess it could be cherry flavored because the logo is red. It could be grape flavored because the logo is also partially purple. It could be yellow. It could be like, you know, um, it could be like lemon lime or it could be pineapple because the, a lot of the menu elements in Melee have yellow aesthetic. <clears throat> the name's Bond. James Bond. Jones Bond. The name's Bond. Jones Bond. How, do you, how would you like your Jones soda? Shake it, not stirred. You want me to shake your carbonated beverage? That's how I like it, don't I? He opens it and just explodes. It goes all over him. Purple is a main color in the melee background. That is also true. It can fluctuate between the different colors, too. Hey, ramen noodles, what's up? Punch flavor. True. Melee would be a punch-flavored beverage. Or a mix of all. So melee might be cherry, grape, and pineapple. I don't know how that would taste altogether, actually. If it's artificial and it's sweet, I probably would not like it. That was too many unnecessary double negatives, but I don't care. L canceled soda. 
I was thinking about making like a, oh gosh. I was thinking about making like a pun on cancel culture, but it didn't really work there. Maybe it's a melee series of flavors. Melee Jones, final taste nation. The year is 20XX, grape, no preservatives. Final destination, ooh, I like that. That's a tie in to Matt too. I like it. I just made a slippy user card. What? What do you mean? Tell me the details, Sai. What's a slippy user card? I want to make one. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great idea. It's Eli. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Welcome. Melee Jones will be final destination purple and tastes like Young Link's milk. Why do you have to phrase it like that, Space Chicken? I don't want to drink anybody's milk. I want Lon Lon milk, if anything. <laughs> Dude, the speed run's popping. I'm going for my PB. I'm trying to reclaim the world record, and I think I can do it. And we are only 60 matches away of SDs before I unlock the next six characters. So I'm very excited. Yink, but drinks Jones soda instead. Oops, caps. <laughs> You should do what I do and just change your caps lock key to a macro that does that does anything but be a caps lock key. Mine is an emoji picker. So if I hit the caps lock button on my keyboard, it, the little um, Windows 10 emoji picker UI thing pops up, which I use a lot, by the way. A lot more than you might think. <clears throat> Dude, it's Eli. Ah, oh, Lord. What do you mean, Rama? I've survived almost 700 deaths in a row, as have many people in the stream. So this is nothing. 50 is nothing. I'm for Chateau Ro Romani, personally. Oh. Chateau Romani, personally. It gives you infinite magic. That's true. But then you also have your your grandmother's soup in Wind Waker. So what tastes the best? Lon Lon Milk, Chateau Romani, or the Wind Waker soup? Oh. And when I say Wind Waker's grandma soup, I don't mean the soup is made out of his grandma. That would be horrific. I mean the soup that his grandma was prepared. Nothing wrong with transparent, artificial, purple artificial milk, David. Yeah, true, nothing sounds wrong about that to me either. That's five head. But I use caps lock too often in my emails to coworkers. <laughs> really? Can't decide if that's a joke or not. That doesn't sound good, Space. Yeah, I literally have not used caps lock in several years. I, I don't miss it at all. There's no point in using caps lock when you can just use shift. I woke up to small children giggling outside. I had a pan I had a panic attack. You mean waking up to, to children giggling and just outside your door isn't the most comforting thing ever? Oh gosh, that reminds me. Um, I can't be specific about this, but somebody at my company. Oh, you posted a link. Thanks, Cyber. Um, some an executive at my company was asked, "What's your, what your what's your favorite sound?" Like he's being interviewed because he just became an important person at my company, and I won't be specific about what it was. And the question that they asked him, which, by the way, was all rehearsed and scripted, was, what's your favorite sound? Like, like it was, first of all, it was like, what do you envision for the company? Like, what changes are you going to make? Blah, blah, blah. And then, the, they, then she asked, what's your favorite sound? Which is just a weird question to begin with. And he immediately responded by, the sound of my children's voices. And I was thinking about that. And I was like, I guess as far as answers go, that's as far as close to ideal as I can think of. But also, who asks, what's your favorite sound? What do, you, what do you want me to say? Reverberating fart sounds on YouTube? Like, what immediately comes to mind as someone's favorite sound? I just, like, I don't know. Maybe it's more obvious than I think. I just played vis Visage. And the small children are tarrying. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Shift is nice, but what are you supposed to do? To use when you're typing an entire 1,000 word unbroken sentences in all caps without punctuation for your resume. Check me. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know what? I guess if that's what your resume looks like, then you're right. That's the most efficient way to do it. The Alexa Soup refills all your health and magic and doubles your damage until you get hit. Well, I think we know what the clear winner is. It would have been concerning if you said screaming. <laughs> screaming children. <laughs> you mean if the person that was interviewed said screaming? What's your favorite sound? I like screaming. <laughs> Stock in my company drops to zero. People are terrified of the the executive that said that in my company. 
My favorite sound as of today is Captain Falcon dying. My man, my favorite sound is 10 hours of auto-tune baby. Another good pick. Oh, ter oh, terrifying. It's a psych horror game. Okay, okay. Cool. That does not sound like my kind of game, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. As, as terrified as I'm sure you are of it. The correct answer might be the DK rap. That's a good choice. I feel like if you say favorite sound though, it implies it's not a song. Cause it's a, what's your favorite song at that point? <clears throat> My favorite sound is fire. Okay, that's actually a really good answer. That's a super good answer. That's probably the best answer I've ever heard to that question. Fire is a really good sound. So I guess if you really think about it, if you think about like more natural, like nature oriented sounds, I guess it becomes a bit easier. But in like day to day sounds, I don't think about sounds that much, I guess. My favorite sound is Super Smash Brothers Melee. Good, good pick. Dean Harrington screaming the title of my favorite game is also one of my favorite sounds. True, but I wanted to mention DK Rap. Cannot blame you for that, Mr. Carl. Cannot blame you for that. Depends about the uh, other sounds within the fire. Like if someone's burning in the fire. Nothing's natural about Bean's fires. Okay, I was I was giving Bean the benefit of the doubt. All right, I was doing what? I was doing my due diligence here. I wasn't assuming the worst. All right. Thunderstorms is another good answer. Melee, my favorite sound is the never-ending drone of Tinnititis. When I finally get my Nero chip, I'll be able to auto-tune it. I don't even know how to respond to that. Did I, did I even say that word right? All right, guys, we're getting close. We're getting very close. It's very concerning. I, I got very scared reading that. Honestly? Tin, I, tinnitus. Thank you. That's a that's a derp, but I I, I don't have the derp counter enabled right now. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> Isn't that a shame? Wait, did the number not update? No, oh, maybe it did. I'm I'm seeing things. I'm getting paranoid. Definitely a shame. All right, we are less than 10 away from moving on to the next part of the run, and I am very excited about that. Disclaimer, I don't have tinnititis, tinnititis, <laughs> tinnititis. I always wear my earplugs at work. Good man. Yeah, we're about to move on, Eli, so you won't be looking at the same thing over and over anymore. Did not update the last one. Really? So it's not consistent. Super weird. Huh. I'll add another one then. Alright, so maybe two left, hopefully. I'm dying too quickly. Yeah, I don't think so, because I set the threshold to five seconds, which should be plenty. Thanks, Carl. Number didn't update, it's supposed to be <laughs> 684 derps. Okay. So I think that's right. Um, we'll find out, I guess. All right, guys. Somebody redeemed a Donkey Kong. Look at that. All right, we'll see. If if it doesn't happen perfectly, eh, it's it's whatever. It's fine. If anything, I probably did a little. I probably did a little too many. After I've died so many times, I forgot what it's like to play the game. Oh wait. Okay, yeah. I don't hit. I don't hit it yet. I wait till I unlock Mewtwo to. Look at all that little stages I unlocked. <laughs> Here we go again. Hey Radzo, what's up? Welcome, welcome. The homie. Will Falcon ever get DK to stop chasing him? Probably not, Link. It's an eternal chase. All these free DK redeems, and you guys aren't even spending any points. 
When you die so much, you forget how to play the game. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh. Pichu's too short. Oh my goodness, Pichu, please die. Pichu refuses to die. Okay. <laughs> what did Sai say? <laughs> I face when, um, stomp that rat. Dang, that was kind of... Oh, I just unlocked Big Blue, so that's why it's in the rotation now. Dr. Mario thought he could challenge you after seeing your 700 matches. He never believed you could have sandbagged after the last two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was definitely overconfident based on my previous performance. You gotta do what's gotta be done, true. I love it's got, this has got the uh, Corneria music, but it's on Battlefield. Okay, 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 Falco. The music gives me nightmares now. <laughs> Is that because of the uh, diss tracks and stuff? I haven't heard any of those yet. They're not, I don't know if they're clipped anywhere. Or, or, are there highlights of them or somewhere I can listen to them? Because I've only heard Legends. I've heard the actual ones. I listened to it too many times. Mango haunting your game right now. Is that what that is? Okay, it's Young Link. So I think after Young Link. I think it's Mewtwo after Young Link. So. So we'll see. So the count should, the current count max, it should say max now, which it does, I think. So, um, hey, Gio, welcome. How are ya? I'm like Poke Floats. Oh, Ganon, you're right. It's Ganon and then Mewtwo. Exactly, Mario Docs, thank you. I can't unhear Matt's lyrics. True. All right, <clears throat> so I think we're good there. And after I unlock Mewtwo, I can hit the split on the next one. So if I did this right, this should unlock Mewtwo. If it doesn't unlock Mewtwo, I should probably only have to do like one more match. But it should unlock Mewtwo. It's Cloud. <laughs> Poke floats. <clears throat> DK literally flexing on everyone you're destroying. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, good. That was Mewtwo. Cool. All right, so I probably did a few extra matches that I didn't need to, maybe. But with your guys' help, I did a few, a lot fewer than I had to. By the way, fighting CPUs is harder than you might think. They, they, do, they do not play like humans at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a split. You two unlocked. So now... Wait, why didn't it work? What the heck? Oh, stupid. All right, so now, um, stadium, home run contest. Man, that's super weird. I pressed it at the right time. I have global hotkeys on, so I'm not sure why it's working. I wonder if there's better. Dang it. This will unlock uh, Yoshi's Island. Okay, so now we're doing Break the Targets. Okay, so the hardest ones, in my opinion, are Marth's and Roy's, or at least there's some of the hardest ones. So I'll start out there. Oh, David. Oh, David. That was not a great start. That's all right, though. Let's heck and go. That was actually good. This one's also really hard, in my opinion. The beginning part's really killer.
Gives me a tough time. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was merciful. Okay. Good. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you so much for the follow, Mimo. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. bad not bad come my down to 13 seconds dang for mars nicely done dude that's awesome break the mewtwo dang it good 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 hey kayla how are you welcome I'm doing a melee speed run. It's absurd. I'm currently two and a half hours into it. I'm trying to do all the target tests for this game. Whoops, that's being up there. Very optimized, as you can tell. You just woke up. Well, good morning. Happy Saturday. I know Saturday is the day to sleep, and I'm a bit of a freak for getting up at a somewhat normal time. Good to have you again, Kayla. Good. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. That one's a little tough, too, so I'm glad I got through that one. Dang it. There we go. Okay, that wasn't the worst. That wasn't the worst. That could have been bad. That could have been worse. I think Young Lynx is another really tough one. Don't get spooked. Coming in. Thank you, Esther. Appreciate that. Ironically, when you came in the last time I did the speedrun, you came in around this time too when I was doing the, the target test stuff. And scared the, the crap in out of me. I'm ready for you, though. Oh my gosh, David. That was so close. I, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Break the nest. David, be spooked behind you if there is a murderer. Thank you. Very helpful. There's a murderer behind me. I'm assuming that was Space Chicken. Oh. 
Okay, good. Gosh dang it, Space Chicken, it was you. I knew it was something Space Chicken would say. This one's a little weird too, because you only have Popo, because it, it like mimics the original Ice Climber game. Hey, Esther! Um, thank you so much for getting a drink. That's really nice of you. It's funny, when you came last time, it was right at the, the Break the Targets huh. part two. But this time you didn't scare the heck out of me. Thank you. Really? That's what the knocking was, apparently. What is it? Oh, yes! Let's go. I'm sure my address is on there, so. How are you, Essie? Nice shirt. Nice uh, sweatshirt. <laughs> and for tonight, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> obviously. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I like the sound of that. It's Esther in chat, everybody. She's got her free melee sweater on. That is like literal sugar. I know. It's dyed blue literal sugar. It's your dream. My entire mouth is like happy. Yeah. Thank you. I'm suffering. Oh, David. Oh, that was close. Hey, babe. Hey, Carl. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. Esther can do the the stream work part of my stream, which is read chat. I can just play the video game. <laughs> like I have a butternut cam. You can just have an Etsy cam where I just sit here and talk. To you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a second camera. <laughs> it would be Emster camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> it is a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Amster. Amster. Ready? Go. Oh boy. Try for it more like try hard, am I right? No. no. <laughs> this is not the most efficient run, boys, but not not terrible. It was only 27 seconds. <laughs> A new record. This one's one of the toughest ones too. Is Young Lynx's. Ready? Restart. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Veen. You and Space Chicken make those jokes. I've been making those jokes the entire time. Well, that convinced me. And Eli. And Mario Dodd. <laughs> we get a pull in chat, boys. Should we restart? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, get that stupid... There we go. Rip the rip run. Do a lullaby skip or... <laughs> Nick, what is that? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Nick. A lullaby skip? Duh. Who knows what that is? It's where I sing you to sleep and you turn the game. <laughs> of course. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm actually really happy with that in one attempt. That's not usual. No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, though. I. I... No! Get over here. Eh. Here we go. Get over here, you little, little target. Yes! That was good. Break the target. 
Esther's great. <laughs> Give yourself a gamer girl who feeds you while you speedrun. <laughs> feeds you blue juice. <laughs> while you play video games. Just with that, like, Fortnite health juice to tongue judge. <laughs> oh, no. Oh man, it's awesome. And I asked for them to make it super deep and super simple. Oh David, please don't die on this part. Stop bonking your head. David. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Safe way. <laughs> Safe way. Not risky way. There's a much more efficient way to do that, but sometimes yeah, you don't risk it. I'm not even like really against the clock in any meaningful way because mm. <laughs> Yeah, did you watch the, the the Zelda one? Which one did you watch like Oh, it was the Falco one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It was the Falco one. I'm so glad David's Babesley Wavesley got an extra sweet gamer juice instead of coffee for this intense run. True. That's right. I'm the Babesley <laughs> we were talking about the We were talking about coffee and the merits of it. And... That works. If they're roughly 30 seconds, they're like pretty good, I'd say. Oh. That was a more efficient way to do that, but. I'm sure I'm not doing these like best practice. I'm just doing them like. Ah, uh, man. This is where I'm supposed to end up, not be. I'm supposed to be this early. Ready, go. I think going left first is the right way to go. The up air was so much slower than you expect. I should have done that beat. That would have been way, way faster. But this one's actually quite completely chaotic. <laughs> the danger is of getting knocked into that little hole. And that can totally happen because of these stupid items. There's the Mario one, the Doc one, and then... Oh, the Dr. Mario one's also really hard. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Gotta like, remember where they are sometimes. What's up, dude? All right. Cool. 
Dr. Mario has like, some quirks with the cape too. It's like a really tough part where you have to like do some crazy stuff. The platforms move at such a weird interval. Yeah. Did. And that's the part I was worried about the most. This is the hardest part. Nice. Nope. No? Nope. That's what I was worried about. Should have waited for the right, um, what's it called? The timing of the platform. Because if I'm in fallen state, I can't break the last one. Yeah, this is one of my weakest ones. No. Gotta go all the way around. Unless I'm good. That'll work. Hardest one's coming up, but it kind of has to be one I do near the end. Oh, that was the worst possible time, but it ended up working out. Okay, <clears throat> let's not let's not break the targets yet. So actually, when I beat the game and watch, actually. Okay. That's not all to break the targets, technically. There's one more to do, but I can do classic mode as um, Game & Watch, and that will count as my final break the targets one, I think. I didn't practice this, but I'm pretty sure it works. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, bomb. Whew, easy money indeed. To defeat David, you must pull the Dr. Mario target break stage. Yeah. Dude, the Dr. Mario one is randomly difficult for me. The, the Marth Roy, Dr. Mario, and what's the other one? The Young Link one are like the most difficult for me. Let's go, DK. DK is a good teammate. It's funny that we're now teaming up after he's beaten me so many times. Been better? Working with a cane? Oh, your foot hurts? I'm sorry, Dean. That sucks. Oh boy, I just missed that a ton. See, this should count for the final target test. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. I'll wait for it to spawn. Yeah, I think that is definitely the most efficient way to do the target test stuff. Uh. Stupid zoom in camera thing. That was super good. <laughs> Thanks. I knew when you were like, nah, I just want water. I was like, no, you want something. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. I know you well enough by now. <laughs> Did you, and I just, I incorrectly assumed it was Starbucks. Yeah, usually I don't typically go. Yeah, they're just like not as much non good. Is this not coffee? <laughs> Birdo Trophy. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Oh. I've run into the Birdo Trophy like so many times. That's funny. I know. You just, just you guys wait till when I do my event matches. That's when the real strats come in. By this point, you care Um, you mean like for event matches? Yeah. More or less. I, it's good to like re reference back to the sheet, though. Good. Okay. Yeah. It's like having the backup, you know. Which you reminded me. I need to get ready for that. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, to... exactly. Or like if you grab them a certain way or whatever yeah, with yeah. certain characters. Yeah, totally. That stuff all comes into play. And that's the fun stuff to show. So this is what all this is. Yep. Little notes to remind me which one. And like what the strat is too, because sometimes that's not always immediately obvious too. Yep. But I'm making good time. Like, not even three hours yet, and I'm almost in the final. Yeah. Yeah, this is a benchmarking off of my last night run. Oh my gosh, Pe Metal Peach is a nightmare. <laughs> She's meddling with me. Team Eli. Recently replaced the Falcon nipple spike with the rest sound. Oh, cool. That's, that's, that's an awesome idea. I like that. That's a good addition. Classic mode. I should have unlocked the stage that I missed. I should unlock two stages, hopefully, here. <clears throat> Let me just make sure that it worked. <laughs> Those big gloves are Gucci. Are Where can I get them? Gucci? Oh. What does Gucci mean? I thought that meant good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I thought it meant it was good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kim Drip. David be Kim Drip. Flat zone. Yeah, cool. Okay. No, I did. I should have. Why didn't it work? Gosh dang it. Thank you. I literally pressed the freaking button. Like, it's not working. I don't know why. Alright, uh, Roy, 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 Roy. Um, thank you, Eli. I, I literally pressed the right button. Hey, first editor, how's it going, dude? I, um... Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I appreciate that. Um, that's so frustrating. I don't know why it's not working sometimes. Oh, the, maybe the program wasn't highlighted. I have global hockeys on. So it, it, it shouldn't matter. Like, I'm clicking it to make it highlight, to make it work. But I, I, I had global, I had global hockey's on. This is about to be a false gold. You should have split it. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, I know. This is a false gold. The previous one wouldn't have been. Oh well. Birdo trophy again. <laughs> I, I have come into three Birdo trophies now. That is so funny. My goodness, that is so funny. I can't believe that. I've run into it in Classic, and Adventure, and All-Star. Wow. <laughs> Splitted with Splat? Yeah. The Splat runs. Okay. There we go. Birdo Trophy Pog, yeah. That's the third, that's at least the fourth one that I've seen, I'm pretty sure. In, in the wild, I obviously unlocked it, oops. I obviously unlocked it like normally. I also learned something else. You can die in this and get a continue and you can still unlock the, unlock Battlefield. I was worried about that. Like if I died by accident and I had to continue, would that not count? And it does count. I tried it last night, so. No, no, no! Ready? Go. <laughs> yeah, so for very easy, if you use like a revoice dolphin slash with Roy, for some reason it like instant kills every character in, in All Star. Which is normally like not the easiest mode to beat without a continue. Because you know, you're fighting so many and only get so many hearts, but. And very hard, it's brutal. And easy, obviously, it's. Easier. 
<laughs> the small child and his rat. Man, you guys are mean about to Pikachu. What did Pikachu do for you guys? How would that work? <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> no one's rat. Oh, it's Pichu. Up there is off stage. You gotta be mean. Why? Don't be mean. Be kind. Kill people with kindness. Then they'll feel worse when you loot. When they lose. It's fun to taunt like I did when I was a kid during the to get the um. Fighter stance special bonus at the end. I used to taunt to get like 500 extra points. Ready? Thank you, Mario Docs. That's for you when you don't when you don't do a verse. That's how the audio distorts when that happens. I have to be careful not to kill myself there. Kill people with kindness or up B. That's what I'm doing. That's what up B is. The kindness move. Oh gosh, I I should have taken a heart. There was no reason not to. Oops. And I'll definitely grab a heart for this. It's technically slower, but I might as well ensure it. I save some time. Fun fact, if you walk into that loading zone while you're being healed, and you don't get healed all the way, um, you don't heal the full amount. Ooh, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of distortion. Okay, that was all-star. The split actually worked this time. All right, so now we're on to our event matches. Yeah, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's analog audio for you. I should speedrun uh, getting all hit, too, in the same run. <laughs> Which is obviously impossible. Okay, good. All right, so now it's event match time. So this is where the stat, the strats start coming in. Um, some of these, hey Sidewinder, welcome. You're at the very tail end of the speed run, the all characters all stages speed run. So you came at a good time. You came just for the event matches. How's your Saturday going, my dude? So I unlocked Wario. I did. I unlocked the Wario trophy. Um, so what I'll do is I'll probably split at the first 20 events. That took a little longer than I wanted to. It's cat jam time. I did that for you. I did that for you, Eli, so you could listen to more of that. Big DK versus Lethal DK. Okay, it's Puff Rest time. A lot of these, spoiler alert, are Puff Rest. A lot of these. But some of them have, like, like more crazy strats, too. Oh my gosh, the freaking bomb exploded. <laughs> and it stopped it. Puff rest, that's right. That's how you can do it in 12 seconds. Got the motion sensor bomb trophy, that's pretty hype. Now this one's a little different than the other ones. This is the only one where I explicitly pick Kirby, and you'll see why in a second. It's a little silly, it's a little goofy. My friend Yoshi cooperates. Oh boy, I messed that up. That should, this should be done by now, but I messed up. We're gonna try it again. <laughs> Use this heaven flawlessly last night, I promise. Here we go. 11 seconds isn't bad. Ready? 
There's no like roll strat to this one. Just get all the coins you can. Pretty good. That was about, what, nine seconds? Kirby's on parade. This is for six, so I'm picking Fox. I think I just shine the Kirby's, and when I shine the Kirby's, they fly. Where have I seen these coins before? Yep. Wow, that was aggressive. Okay, that was good. Took him out pretty quick. Seven. I think this is a Mewtwo one. Yeah. Walgreens Jigglypuff team. So for this one, I cannot damage Pikachu at all. I can only do it through Pokeballs. That was a really good RNG. Caesar is awesome for instant kills. Okay, well he grabbed one, unfortunately. Okay, that was a very weak... Another weak Pokemon, unfortunately. Okay, that was all right. <laughs> wasn't super optimized, but it wasn't the worst. All right, eight. Playing Falcon just to knee Samus. Get him, Ariel, get him! <laughs> that was dope. I can't believe that wasn't gold. <laughs> yeah, I've done faster. Remember, the hard part is for this, I can't use C-Stick at all. So these matches would be made much easier if I could use C-Stick, but because it's single player and in melee, the uh, the C-Stick would just zoom in your, your camera. They wouldn't actually help you with aerials, which is tough. For this one, I can only do, oh, heals only count if they're sheep. So I have to wait till they transform. Oh, and then I miss. Oh dear. Well, that's one at least. Okay, good. Okay, nope, that's bad. Whoa. What are you doing? Jeez. That's freaking chic, man. Alright, that's Puff. Freaking Sheikin is right. That that Zelda did debate me. That is what happened. <laughs> I completely missed. Goodness. Freaking troll. And at these stages they're so slow to respond and like react or do anything that you're like, uh, are they gonna move? Are they not gonna move? Looking like cyber right now? <laughs> Dang. No, oh, that didn't kill. Yoshi be the in. Wait until you after you woke up to hit me? I know. Gosh dang it. Yeah, the annoying thing about this level is you've gotta rest them on the other side. So that they don't hit that center th center part of the castle. All right, so I gotta remember to split at 20. Okay, that was good. Drill rests, yeah, you're right. Drill rest would be better for just a lot of those. Survive side B. This one I just have to survive for a while. Yeah, no, I'm having a really good time so far. My goal is under five hours. I'm pretty sure I'll make under that pretty easily. Okay, I already have 50% in the first two seconds. So that's not awesome, but it's not the worst. Oh my gosh, I failed it. Dang it. That sucks. Yeah, I think you're right. Drill rest is better. DI more like dying. Got him. Oh my gosh, these freaking ice climbers are so aggressive. Just climb your mountain and don't don't worry about me. 
<laughs> so aggressive! Hey, Kenzie. Uh, do you mean by a different webcam background? Because, yeah, it's at a different angle, actually. The webcam's normally over there, and I've moved it over here. So, yeah. Gosh dang it. I got this first try last night. They respawn. Fortunately. Yeah, because I have to survive for a minute. Basically, that's the point of this one. If Nana's dead, that actually helps me, so yes. Please lose your Nana's. Now keep using your your useless up Bs without Nana, please. Okay. Okay, guys, make this perfectly clear. Kenzie is Space Chicken's favorite. Lay off. <laughs> Why? Why are they hitting me so many times? I gotta find a better strat. I don't like just evading. I, I want to fight him and like knock him off or something. They have unlimited lives, so it's like kind of fruitless, I guess. Please don't hit me with your up B. <laughs> that stupid one. That, should have, that took like four times longer than it should have. Oh, this one's fun. I, you have to kill someone in like less than seven seconds is the point of this. And with Puff, that's very easy. Unless you get grabbed. <laughs> he still works, even after I get grabbed. 13. Alright, later, Space. Oh, yeah, this one's actually really goofy. So you actually stall. Space, thanks so much for spending time here, man, and just being goofy, man. I really appreciate that. So, I'm trying to protect the egg, right? Oh, please don't grab the egg. So they're trying to go after me, but I have unlimited lives. So as long as I distract them. Come here. And then eventually the, the ship crashes, but by that time I can grab the egg. Blossom, yeah. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Blossom. Okay, why? Stupid Pokemon RNG. And it was. Can we get gold on Trophy Tussle? Come here, guys. Please don't punch the egg immediately in the first few seconds of the game. No. But... I'll mess it up. Probably more if I do that. Yeah, keep taunting, please. <laughs> yeah, that was good. It's kind of like a game keep away. Alright, Trophy Tussle. Oh, Trophy Tussle is rough. 
trophy tussle is rough. Those unknowns were out to get the egg. I know. It, it, I, I think there's probably a method of the madness where the unknown spawns, but. Unfortunate. Sorry for that incredibly loud sound. No, don't push me off! Oh, it's funny, because they, they can hurt themselves. Which is really helpful. Look. There we go. Full awesome counter. Yeah, it was super unlucky, Carl. Alright, 15. I do with Puff again. So I, I rest on the top platform for this one. I think it's just like they're really they're big for some reason. I don't know why. Oh dear. Oh my gosh, I'm missing like mad here. Even bigger targets than normal, and I can't hit him. Oh my goodness. Come here, guys. Wow, that didn't kill? Crazy. <laughs> that took kind of a long time, but that's okay. <laughs> Tiny. You're loving this? Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 16. Okay, this one's silly. Basically, there's a bunch of yellow Kirby's running around, and I gotta grab a Warp Star and knock them out. Very good RNG. Very good RNG. Gotta wait for the right time. Okay. okay, that was good. That was really good. I know, right? Samus down air Bowser. Okay. Yeah, this one's actually really tough too. Yeah, that was good RNG. So basically, I gotta kill Bowser before Captain Falcon does, and he's very good at killing Bowser, and Bowser's very good at surviving, so. Okay, so I just save Bowser. Oh, please don't die, Bowser. If I hit. Okay, that's good. Please die, Bowser. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. I was worried about that one, but that wasn't too bad. Alright, so we're almost at 20, and I'm gonna split at 20. Okay, this one's kind of annoying, too. This Dark Link is super feisty, and this stage sucks. Oh, dang it. My trick almost worked. My trick almost worked. But he jumped out of it. He jumped canceled it. Okay, that was good. So I have a backup strat. If, if the first one fails, I have another backup strat, and that worked. So that's good. That didn't work. That's right. Don't get the stupid Pokeball. Come here. Good. Good. That was good. That could have been really bad, and that ended up being, like, under 30 seconds. So I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so for this one, I basically have to basically repeatedly grab Bowser. Because he's going to try to get Peach, but... If I do this right, I can kind of chain grab, pseudo chain grab. Oh boy. Freaking Pokeballs, man. Okay, it's Goldeen. We're good. Oh my gosh. How did I get hit by a full side? Oh gosh, it's a bub bomb.
Good. Okay, then the next one's 20. I think this is another Jigglypuff one. And after this one, I'll split. He was so hard that made him look easy to play against. <laughs> oh, what? Did I miss that? I didn't kill either. I should do I should do the drill shiny thing like Rod's saying. I just haven't practiced it at all. So I'm kind of inconsistent with it. Okay, that'll do that. Peach do like Peach do walking like Mario ain't slamming Bowser. I know, she's just like enjoying her day, like whatever. Okay, that was awesome. I should try doing that more. <laughs> As we're doing covert recordings of my stream. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> no! Come here. Is she gonna keep doing this? There we go. That was good. That combo, yeah, I'm actually happy with that. Me ignoring all my problems. Does does Bean relate to Peach in that instant? People said Dark Link was only in... Dark Link was hard in Zelda too. Okay, I made it look easy, but actually, that's actually a tough fight normally. All right, cool. So I'll be ready to split, assuming my split button works uh, after I defeat Fox here. Oh boy, I missed. Hungry Box is sad right now. He's sad box. <laughs> I failed him. Okay. Your cold mission is to defeat both Nanas. I believe this is Fox. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good on my time. Oh, I, I guess I was slower than my previous segment, but... Oh gosh, I'm not doing as well on this one as I was last time. So this one I gotta just defeat Nana and not either Popo. Oh, I almost killed Popo by accident. All right, that was good. That was good. For this one I gotta be Pikachu. Boing. Thanks for the unlurk, Christy. Welcome back. You guys, this is gonna be a bunch of great sounds on this one. You're gonna love it. Hey, Birdo, my, wor wor my worst enemy. Oh my gosh, I thought it was me. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Oh, you think that's me? If there's a ball in there, I'll be very annoyed. It could have been worse. Yeah, please pick up the items and then die so that they go away. Thank you. No, don't grab me! Oh, I grabbed him. That was weird. Okay, this one's tough. I think I need to play as Puff again. 23 is Puff, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Christy. Brady Simulator. That was good. Good stuff. That was good. I'm happy with that. All right, 24. Pikachu again. Is it really? Wow, okay. It's very similar to the one I just did with Mario's, but it's Yoshi's. And actually annoying because there's like a time limit. Uh, 
Remember again, I can't use C stick here, so it's a little bit less easy than it should be. Also, have these dumb things in the way to get KOs. So I can't really do falling up airs with the C without C stick. I mean, I kind of can, but. I'm not risking that. That that was an easy death for me if I wasn't careful. This one's really tough. This 25 one's difficult. Pikachu just hates the Mario series? Yeah. He just wants to see it eradicated. He won't rest until the world burns. This one's actually kind of rough. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Do that again, please. Oh, heck yeah. That was awesome. That was really good. That was super lucky. This one's a little tough, too. Any trophy tussles? Nuts. Godzilla versus Kong. You're right. Godzilla versus Monkey. Oh, my gosh. That was bad. Stupid Kirby. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Popo, for saving Kirby. Very nice of you. Oh boy. I missed. Yes! Good. Good. Trophy tussles are tough, usually, but getting first try, I'm very happy about that. Alright, so this one is a little tricky, but I should be able to do okay on this one. Okay, that was awesome. Holy cow. Good RNG. Get back here, you idiot. Where are you going? Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That was good. RNG on point. Yeah, that was awesome. 28. Dr. Mario. This one's an up B with Dr. Mario. Gosh, I went the wrong way. Okay, that was good. Triforce. Oh, Triforce Gathering is really hard. This one typically gives me trouble, but hopefully. That was merciful. Yes! First try! Yes! I am very happy with that. Whips and chains, boys and girls. That's right, that's right. Alright, so now we're doing puff again. Holy cow! That is awesome. I am very pleased with that. 
didn't kill. Dang. Okay, I'll take that. Take that. Okay, I'm overall there's some areas where I definitely didn't perform as well as I did last night, but I think overall, um, I'm pretty happy with my progress so far. I think I'm doing pretty good. I should definitely get a faster time than last night, which means I'll get my goal, which is good. Oh man, I didn't kill. Hmm. Please don't get the star. Actually, when I get the star, it's bad too, because then the character runs away from you. And then it's... Oh my gosh. And then it's really hard to get any kills. Okay. Well, I still have a stock at least. Ice Climber is the bane of my existence. I should do the the, the drill um, down B, but like, I'm not confident enough in like knowing where they end up. Good, good, good. I almost hit split, but I don't have to because my split's at 40, I think, not 30. Yeah. 31. That is going to be Jigglypuff again. This one's another way to mount kind of thing. Dr. Mario hates Kirby. That Bob was Pog, yeah, right? Come here, you. I only need to get a few more points for them to win, but... I can practice rest now. That's probably what I'll probably do for the rest of it. But apparently I can't hit them as reliably as I think. Whoops. Yeah, so if I die, it doesn't really matter, because I have more kills on them than they have to me. I need to work on my rest. There we go. That was pretty good. I could try my drill rest, too. Hmm. Yeah, drills aren't helpful for me right now because I can't do my C-stick down. Plus, they're like going random places unless I hit them the wrong angle. Thank you for saving your brother, Luigi, from Mario. Wow, they're saving each other. They're, they're coming in clutch. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Heck yeah! I didn't die. Cool. Cool. Alright, 31. I think this one's pretty easy. Yeah, just down tilt. Basically, I have to get more kills than the uh, R wing and stuff. Might as well do the smash taunt, the secret taunt. Unless they shoot me. Sorry. Well, oh, by the way, David, remember the Metroid Escape you did in Adventure Mode? That's important to Brawl. Oh, cool. Has it really? That's awesome. Yeah, that was good. 
Okay, this one's ridiculous, but it's pretty straightforward as long as I can be patient enough to do it. I was, I was way too soon. Oh, yesterday someone did it. Cool. Don't skip leg day, boys. <laughs> Love it. I'm just going to wait. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's fine. I can make it. Should have moonwalked. Yeah, imagine doing that. Like, that would be impossible. Oh, this one's so hard. There's a method to it, but it's very tough to pull off. Come here, you. Why do you do that? You're not supposed to do that. Here we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Come here, you. Okay, good. Okay, that was beautiful. That was beautiful! Beautiful! No, you! Okay, this one's also really hard. But if I can do it right, this one's actually extremely difficult. Thank you. Dang it. Let's try that again. Dang it. Ugh. Close, but I'm not quite getting what I'm trying to do here. There's a very specific method to get this done really quickly, and I keep messing it up. That's not what I meant to do, but... Sidewinder, yo! Thanks for the four-month resub, man. I appreciate that. Wow, that's nice of you. Thank you. Here's to a new, delicious PB. Awesome. That was really good. All right, guys, when I'm at 40... Okay, 37. I think I'm Mewtwo. Yeah. This one's a little bit tough, but I think I can do it. Yeah, we're close to the split. Thank you, Fraud, for the reminder there. Stupid Wobbuffet. Dang it. Of course, they get the legendary Pokemon. Please stop hitting me. Yeah. 
useless. No! Dang it. I can't reach it. Another Wobbuffet. That was my luck. Okay, that was good. Another wobble fit. Awesome. Okay, awesome. That could have been bad. Yeah, presently in the air to grab items. That's true. I, I just do it so infrequently. I forget about it. Thanks for the reminder, dude. Okay, this one I'm not super comfortable with, but three. Yeah, it was something like three wobble fits. Yeah. I forgot I can't read what you're saying because it's a long message. Stupid Birdo. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy with that. That was another really good one. All right, this one's easy. I just grab enough throw. The disadvantage is they can grab enough throw too. I think the next one is 40. So this is the split when I complete this one. It's the split. I'm really happy with like how fast I'm doing some of this stuff, to be honest. Please die, please die. Yes. Good. Okay, that was good. Okay, that was good. Sometimes I decide I'm just not good at resting certain characters, so I'm just gonna use other alternate means necessary to get the job done and not worry about not resting. And some I'm just gonna do the standard way. Gosh. That's a kill. Use moves other than rest? Gross. I mean, this is pretty gross, but it's a dog eat dog world here. If that was a nine, I would have lulled. Oh my word! It's freaking Game & Watch. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. That was crazy. Okay. Now these are some of the hardest ones in the entire list. Holy cow, these are tough. But, it's alright. I'm prepared. This one's also really hard, too. Please grab. I don't shield my press Z. 
Okay, that was awesome. The egg roll strat, dude, yeah, heck yeah. Is that side just side smashing? Cause that's hilarious. Yes. Came on the wrong side of me. Good. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Go, come here, you idiot. Okay, this one's fun, guys. Watch for this one. This one's kind of quirky. So I think you'll appreciate this. Oh, what? Okay, that's fine. Kind of quirky, right, guys? Alright, this one's fun. You just shine them off the left side. I'm not like the other girls. I'm quirky. Come here, guys. So quirky, right, Bean? All right, 44. Um, I think I do puff for this one, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting this done very quickly. I'm very surprised. Now I can't kill Zelda. Um. Why did it throw so far? Please die, Mewtwo. Oh my gosh. Heck yes! Yes! Heck yeah! That was awesome! Cool. Thank you, Christy. Fire Emblem Pride. Holy cow, this one's really hard, too. I think I'm Fox for this one. 46 Fox, yes. This one's really hard. This is one of the hardest ones in the entire list. But hopefully I can do it. Let's see. Okay, that was nice. Star Rod. Oh, he could have died there. For the merciful. No, don't go whatever way you're going for the stupid item. So where's the dumb Pokeball? Come here. Come here. Phantom. That was a nice deal. Crap. That was an opportunity to get a free kill.
Oh, they killed him there. Don't. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Come here. Come up here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah, now please come the way I want you to. Good. Woo. Hey, Andy, how's it going? All right, 47. We're getting close to the end, gamers. Getting close to the end. Woo. Followed your glimish. Nice. Okay, this one's actually kind of hard, too. Because the characters are RNG. So I get a really bad mix. I think this is a pretty bad mix, actually. wall or something weird I'm not complaining I just don't know how it happened this is so lucky holy cow that was so lucky come here please die yes heck yes okay this one's also really, really tough, but there's a method to the madness. There's a method to the madness. How's it going, Nick? Welcome back. The drawer's mess pog indeed. Alright, well, Pikachu ruined it. I could have that could have been a perfect one hit run. But uh it didn't happen. one of them. No one was worth it to try. I wanted that stomp so bad. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? I killed him, yes! Yes! Good! Okay. So now, I think this is the last puff one. I do. And then it's the last two, and then that's the run. Come here, you. I, I struggled with this one last night, a lot. Let's try. Because my key is, I can't get too much damage in the beginning. And that generally happens on this course, because it's a dumb course. Yeah. Oh, I died too. Shoot, yeah, that can't happen. I thought I just killed him, but I, I died too. Sub four hour could happen, I know. It'll be really close. I Probably not, because that's five, that's five minutes, and I, this will take longer than five minutes, but still pretty crazy. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I think, in my opinion, a lot of this is just knowing what your weaknesses are. Even though, like, there's optimal things to do, just picking the one that you think will be consistent enough to get, you know, the, the results that you want. <clears throat> Thank you all. I'm gonna hold off probably till the end. Thank you. Pichu, I cannot rest for the life of me, so I'm just gonna rack up damage and then do side, some side smash or something. Because this would mess me up when I would try to, like, get the rest and stuff and just keep missing. Harder when they're invisible. I should do it. Uh, yeah, okay, barely did it. World record pace, boys and girls. This one also, for some reason, this course and Link and Young Link are like really tough for me. Almost just suicided.
Oh, good thing you hit me. I missed. That didn't kill? Holy cow. That did. Whew, world record incoming. Yeah, world record for sure, but probably not sub four as much as I would want it to be. This stage two is the bane of my existence. Come here. That's right, I tried to go below and I remember that didn't work well. So let's get you up here. Okay, that was good. Gosh dang it. <laughs> nice try, Christy. Hey, you know what? The effort was there, so that's pog enough for me. What's nice is I can get Ganondorf to consistently up B and then rest him. What you do is you do this. You like this. You tend to do it up B. And then you miss. You almost miss. Okay, good. Good, good. So the next one I do is Ganondorf. And then that will unlock the final one, which is Event 51, which I'll play again. You guessed it. Jigglypuff. Oh boy, that was not a good start. Let's try that again. Wow, it hit me? Yeah, that wasn't a strong start. Let's try that again. No oh boy, that's not meant to do at all. Not too bad though, we're not doing too bad. As we see how much better it looks on the CRT. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. I think it looks significantly better on that. Oh wow, that's not good. The colors look better. Everything looks sharper and clearer. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's it. Darn it! What a waste. That could have been a really easy run. What am I doing? I got this first try last night. I swear. <laughs> that didn't hit me. Too good. What's that? Strong hits. Also, he's tall. Hey, welcome back, Matthew. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That's not meant to do it all. No! So many accidental elf tilts somehow. It's gonna be cutting it close. Not again. Okay, good. One left. We mashing. We mashing. It's all about up smashes. Yeah, over 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 four hours, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm sure I could get under four hours if I was a bit more efficient, but I think I, I'm pretty happy with this one overall. All right, this one's uh, pretty tough, but it's it's doable. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by the strong attack. I'm, I try to avoid those, but oh man, I thought I could go for all, all three right there. But... That was all really bad. Let's try to start over. Ready, 
was trying to hit cannon, but I guess I think Bowser works too. Oh boy. Go away, Togepi. Alright, well, I got Giga Bowser out of the way. That's something. I get both of them. That was good. Yeah, that was good. I didn't kill. Dang it. No! Gosh dang it. Oh boy. Please rest and don't miss. Gosh dang it. Alright, this better this better count. Okay, that'll count, that'll work. Alright, come here, do your stupid up B so I can finish this run. Oh no. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, that really sucks. That really sucks. That was it right there. I was one second away. I had it. That was that was the run. Boy, I don't want to get a full size mash. Dude, I'm pissed. I'm not gonna lie. What a waste. What a stupid way to not get the end. I'm so mad. And I'm just like sucking now. And my confidence is gone. Okay, hitting all three was nice. Maybe I can redeem myself a little bit. Thanks, Christy. They got one. Oh, come on. It's no big deal. I mean, I got significantly faster than the other time, but I could have gotten so much better if I was just not choking for no reason. Oh, 
All right, that was it. 40556. Everything unlocked. Let's uh, confirm on the data side. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, all right, so missed records. No, not missed records. Bonus records. Wait. Which one is it again? Is it bonus records? No, it's... Wait, which one is it? Thank you, Sidewinder. Thanks, Christy. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I got a good time, too. I just had a really stupid final thing that happened to me. Um, okay, so here we go. It, it is these records. So, all-star clear. Let's see. I think the proof's in here somewhere that I did it. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. There's a lot more than I remember. Woo! Sub four next time. Yeah, I think that's definitely possible. Hey, thanks, Docs. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Yeah, cool. So yeah, what's actually really cool about this is it says the power time was only it was, the game was only on for four hours and seven minutes. So, yeah. And it says the little characters twenty five available maps twenty eight. I think that's is that all of them? Let's go to VS mode and see if uh, character random stage selects enabled. Yeah, okay, random stage select. Oh no, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Which one's missing? What? Undo previous split. Un Yo, what? 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 Uh, huh? Is it target test? Was I wrong? What what am I missing? Can someone please tell me what I'm missing? I don't know what I'm missing. Game and watch? Game and watch what? Am I supposed to do game and watch his target test? I did his target test already. Can someone just please confirm what I'm missing? Because there's a there's a blank spot on the what's it called. So if someone just opens up melee, they could figure it out. Okay, that was it. <laughs> okay. So I wasted three minutes for no reason. That is the stupidest thing in the world. Holy cow. How dumb is that? That is so stupid. Okay, so... For future reference, you have to play Game & Watch's target test thing separate from Classic Mode. Because it doesn't count it for some reason. That is so stupid. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's no big deal. Ugh, it just means like, it'd be easier to beat my time next time. So it's 4.08, I think? Hey, Ray Will, welcome. Happy Saturday to you, too. Alright, that was dumb. I'm mad at myself. I made dumb mistakes. Everything was good until near the end. 